Today we have the whole of fucking Ux family here, guys. And what the fuck is happening? Yo, what's up, guys? How are you? What's up? 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 It's anonymous that all of you guys are DJs. We have seven DJs hmm. here, guys. Can I do my intro or? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, so I'm KB5. Can you play the music? This. I'm DJ Manoj. Let's finally <laughs> have the mic. Guys. <laughs> test, test. We're good to go for the next uh, two hours, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Yogi Music. Oh. Again, should I do it again? Yeah, yeah please. Hi, I'm Yogi Music. Again. No, it's chill. Go for it. <laughs> Hi, DJ Buddha. Hi, I'm Ace. Hi, I'm Beats. So we have uh, two people who have come back. Wow, this is what what else is happening, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so we have Bharat who's already been on the podcast. We have Beats who's already been on the podcast, and now we have the whole of fucking Ux in the podcast. That's fucking sick. All right. So uh, I want to catch one person who is. Let's go. Let's go. Why is your name DJ Buddha? Are you? Are you? How do you come up with that? Let me. No, that's not the thing. So um, it's actually a part of my last name. My my real name is Mihir Buddha Bhatti. Okay. So that's okay. how it comes in. It's a part of my last name. And the funny thing is that the you know every time someone hears like DJ Buddha. Somebody actually asked me, "Do you play music for meditation?" <laughs> like, no, 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 no! I don't do that. I don't do that. <laughs> I like that. Deep this house. I really need this house. Deep this meditation. That's a new client. That's a new client. That should be the one. That should be the new one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow. So, uh, I heard that you're a banker. Yes, yes, and yes. And I heard that you don't say no to anything. Absolutely. Right. So it's it's uh, banker is just one thing. Um, I do six jobs. Wow, six like jobs. Six jobs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. 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 Like yeah. wait, wait. Yeah. wait. First, I want to know like you're you're banker. You give loan and yeah. all, and once it's approved, you tell these that approved. Okay, okay. Want the money? So come to us. Yeah. But what are the six jobs that you do? So so I'm a banker by profession, a DJ by passion, a wife. I've got two kids. Uh, is I that a job? <laughs> 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 it is. It is. Come on, yes. you <laughs> have absolutely <laughs> married. <laughs> exactly. So, there are, I think, three of us who are married. There are four of us. So we'll, we'll have, we'll have our stories to tell you for that. Fair, fair, fair. That's the other side of the world. Wow. Okay, okay. That's uh, post production. Wait, no six or no six? No six. Yeah. No. No. So wife, two kids, so four of them. Then is um, I host my own radio show, which is also on City One Zero One Six, the weekend radio show, and uh, I also teach about event management at one of the institutes in Dubai. Wow. wow. EMDI. EMDI. He's taking EMDI, all right? of the yep, fucking yep, people yep. who are yep. unemployed with his job later. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you fucking end up doing everything. What the fuck are other people going to do? Uh, Buddha, so yeah. how much do you realistically make in the month and a half? Straight up. Straight to the point. <laughs> straight to the point. <laughs> I think I'll come up with that camera. You'll be sitting in the car. What do you do yeah. for a living? Yeah. 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 I think I should do that. We'll come to know from my car itself. Half the tire is gone. The There's no, there are no windows. Uh, <laughs> Fair. Wow. Now I want to ho- hop on to Ace. Okay. Why? Cool. Why is your name Ace again? So that was an idea that was suggested. The name was suggested to me by some, by one of my mentors. Okay. Right. So I don't know if I can take his name, but uh, his name. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that was Zubair. Right. So he was the one who suggested that let's go with Ace. So we had a couple of ideas back then when we. came up with the name and stuff we didn't really had it we didn't really have a chance to like implement those ideas but we were like okay you know what is let's go for it it's like you when you're playing cards it's is yeah. like 
it's like you know the it's, it's the, the highest card, and yeah. the lowest card yeah. as well right so Fair. that's like so that's why we just went with that name so you're an extreme man see the upper top ace yes. mm-hmm. exactly i was like let's go for ace he's like bro ace sorry like, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the hashtag as well right let's ace it yeah, oh, yeah. exactly sick now so so we'll go to beats also man we'll go to beats yeah but yeah. i want to ask him one yeah, question ask. done you do something else as well apart from playing yes. right what is that so i am a digital marketing analyst Wow. Wow. Yes. wow. I think we need him, bro. We need him. <laughs> we need him. <laughs> we'll speak I'll give you all the insights. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like clicking on the insights on this fucking phone. <laughs> Done. Yeah, I just need someone to tell me. Done. Done. Okay. Uh, so you've been known to be a uh, introvert, a shy person. This is a image. Yeah. Uh, so is that a correct <laughs> thing going on? No. No. I don't know. I mean, these guys can probably tell you more yeah, about me. I, I, I don't very, think so. He's I'm very social. He's like yeah. when I'm out <laughs> in a yeah, party and stuff. Because I was just going <laughs> through your Instagram <laughs> and then suddenly, like, I've been told you're a shy introvert and your fucking love stories <laughs> on the fucking newspaper. Bro, what are you talking about? Exactly right. Like so your wait. love story. Yeah. Tell me about that. Your love story. You are. Yeah. So my sister is in PR. So okay. she was approached by the news, uh, by the magazine, that they wanted. couples who were based in dubai love stories and stuff so we were like okay you know what let's pitch in so she told us you guys want to do it we were like let's do it and then yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. wow that's fucking next level bro. yeah so what is your love story <laughs> <laughs> so did you say love story love story love story love love story now it's love the love story is on the newspaper for sure <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, funnily, I met my wife because of a club as well. So, wow, oh, wow. Yeah. this man belongs to a club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sick man. I did. Yeah, let's hop on to beats. Yeah, I know why beats is named as beats, bro. You have to pass it on, right? You have to pass it on. You can. It's okay. okay. Hold that heart. <laughs> Hold the heart. <laughs> it's okay. I know why beats is named as beats, bro. Whoa, oh. bro, this guy acting like a cricket player. Wow, obviously. <laughs> we are we are hopping on to beats now. Uh, beats was the second DJ to be associated with Ux. Yeah, when yeah. did you join Ux? Twenty thirteen, twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen. And how was that conversation like with Bharat? You went up to him like, please, I want to join. <laughs> no, the the conversation was very simple. As I told you in the last last podcast, someone pushed me to message him again. Previously, the messaging thing didn't work out. Then I messaged him. He said, come for a meeting. I went for a meeting. He said, you're on board. There was no other conversation. He just said, we like you. You're on board. Nice. He trusted really? you. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. You trusted him so much. Yeah. 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 What did you like about him? <laughs> I was impressed. <laughs> I have still to me. date no idea. <laughs> We sat in the meeting five minutes. You said you're on board. Yeah. Even I have no yeah. idea. But <laughs> <laughs> a good move I did. <laughs> fair, fair. So you've been known to be a, a very technically sound DJ, right? Am the, I? I've been. Uh, SAE help you. SAE help you with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how does how how do you how does it's a question to all of you by the way. Uh, how do you say that Beats is a uh, technically sound DJ? What makes him technically sound? That like why is why is that a thing? We'll start with Manoj. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was ho- I was hoping to be the last one for this. No, all of me second last regardless. <laughs> Uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> the question was like, uh, what makes beats technically sound as a mm, DJ? I think uh, one of the good things is that he's a really good listener, and I think because he's heard um, a lot of music and a lot of DJs, so I think it probably comes well to him uh, on a subconscious level. So he knows when you have clarity. I think he's one of the guys who has clarity on the console. So I think that is what does the trick for him. and of course you know i'm sure he's put in the prep work he's done his homework well so i think that would probably be it it's one of the most serious answers i've heard today i know <laughs> <laughs> i feel very warm inside sir that's the love we have for each other fair enough it's like on display clearly <laughs> it was a technical question so i had to answer it with technical yeah, sure. <laughs> understandable yeah. also beats so uh, one more thing is that uh, why is it that you only drink two times a year I have seen you uh, drunk maybe twice in my life, and I know it's been so you. many years. Yeah. Good for me, I heard. Very less people have seen me drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very. In, even in this uh, round table, very less people have seen me drunk. Wow. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough. But apparently, when you drink, you drink the whole fucking bottle, bro. 
Why is your fucking name DJ Tushar? Like what happened? There's beats, there's A's, there's Buddha, KV5. listen I've allowed you to be a DJ you better DJ with this name and carry this name forward and uh, you're not going to change your name like so my dad like actually had a part yeah he said yeah. why do you want to change your name you're going to work hard on it so people should know you by your name and yeah. some nothing of yeah. <laughs> no offense yeah. to you guys, you guys but with cool names yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got I it said, okay fine i'll give that to you you allowed me so i'm going to listen that's to like you. same like my dad bro he is the yeah. one who created my email address which i still use till date raghav malhotra 1506 wow my company's name is the fucking same raghav malhotra <laughs> <laughs> One five zero six also. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, 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 I think you know when you have to get five names for the company, like yeah. I probably he probably did that and get uh, accepted. But uh, Tusha, you're hmm. I think the oldest in terms of uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, oldest. You're the most experienced yeah, yeah, DJ yeah. over here, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And you enjoy mentoring and teaching younger yes, DJs. Yes, I love well. it. Yeah, yeah. I've I've taught. Ace is one of my students, so. Yes. Bro, why the fuck didn't you name him? Because the guy who uh, gave him the name is I learned from him. Godfather. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So. Sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. My. <laughs> so if I would take that name, then why yeah. do you wh- what what why do you have like such an interest in teaching other people? Like, why is that? Uh, it. So I don't have an interest per se, but someone came to me once to learn DJing, and he showed a lot of interest, and he wanted to learn from me only. Whoa. And uh, I was like, okay, fine. If you, you want to learn from you, me, did you make money okay. on this? Mm, uh, yeah, of course. I Obviously, charge. I charge. That's why the smile comes. Why, right? why, why not? Why not? Why not? You have to, man. Come why on. not? It's 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 my art that I'm giving to you, yeah. and you want yeah. to take it forward. So, कुछ तो चाहिए ना. So I I taught him and. He really turned out to be a great DJ, Damn. even today. And no, when I said no, <laughs> 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 I keep imagining him for some reason. Wait, family better. These guys are not talking to each other. So, fuck is going on here? DJ Nitesh was my first student. Where? Nice. Yeah. Wow. So and uh, since then, I think I was the second one. Sorry. You, so y'all came in a group. So yeah. y'all came like you and. God of GT and everyone yeah. came together to learn. So Sick. they all learned together. And Nitesh was the only guy who I taught like one on one. The rest was and a classroom scene. Less, le- yeah. Rest was how many? Five. Four. Four. Four of them. Nice. Sick dude. And nice. then it just I I liked teaching. So whoever came to me and showed. So I didn't take everyone who wants to come and learn teaching. So I sat with them. I understood like what's their interest. Do they really want to learn? Do they really have that passion, or they just doing it for the money? So I have rejected a lot of students, and uh, they are still wait, like in waiting. But is the waiting list to learn? Like wow. It's okay to do it for the money. As no, but then the thing right? is that if you don't have the passion, then what I'm teaching you, you're not going to take it well. You're so just going to take, it, yeah. Right, yeah. So I'd but rather not waste reason. my time on reason. someone, huh? It can be both the reason, money and the passion. Passion पहले आता है ना first you oh, get to see yeah. yeah. no I'm Thakur bro he's <laughs> him actually as fuck guys yes offense bro <laughs> <laughs> me too two <laughs> 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 offenses two offenses so like how long have you been with Ox and how long have you been a DJ uh, I've been DJing for 22 years Wow. Fuck yeah. me dead dude. That's yeah. crazy. He's the most senior guy in the yeah. Yes, yeah. in the room right now. Yes, yes, yes. So so for some reason you look like the youngest yeah, like now that I fucking look at you. That's so good. He gets that always. Yeah. The curious case of uh, Tushar Tagore. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get ID'd also. Whoa. Sometimes that's become rare case now but earlier like 
five six years back, I used to get ID like every time. I've been wow. stopped at a club where I'm DJing. I'm going to be. Where are you coming with the bag? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm the DJ. It's like, oh really? Wow. So yeah. Fair enough. And how long have you been with Arks for? Uh, about a year and a half properly. Okay. I've DJed for Arks before, but it was like just one off gig. Like a guest appearance. Yeah, yeah. But uh, in the last year and a half, I've been like uh, playing every week. Every yeah. Friday, yeah. That's it's been a, it's been a great experience. That's for sure. Amazing. Let's get on to. So b- before we move on, I have for something for him. <coughs> it's I've been a virtual student of Tushar. I think I've not said this before ever, but uh, <coughs> when I started DJing, like when when I was interested in DJing, right? Um, I used to listen to him play from <coughs> a club which was uh, broadcasted live on air. On city one zero one six. I'm talking wow. about the Pulse days, right? Yeah, so when yeah. he and uh, um, Jeff used to play together, religiously for six months, we used to go out for a drive every Thursday and Friday from two, 12 to two, 12. <laughs> and make a note of the entire playlist that they used to do, and oh. I still do have it. Wow. I I've, I've virtually learned from him. Wow. That's wow. That's, wow. that's about a decade ago. That's about a decade ago. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. It feels good to. Hardly happy and achieve. Yeah, yeah. Hardly happy and achieve. It feels really good to hear all this. Did you tell me before? Yeah, yeah. He's mentioned that. Uh, he's mentioned that. Fine. It's really yeah, sweet of him. Nice yeah. yeah. Let's talk about KV five. What's up, boys? What is KV five? Kya hai? Karan, Veer, Singh. Simple as that. Five kyu hai? Five is very significant in Punjabis. So you have like the punch piare. You know the five Ks, yes. wow. including the kacha. Punch <laughs> 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 That's the first thing that comes into his mind. <laughs> Make me stand, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say the numbers. <laughs> okay. How did you convince him to start the song by us? Yeah, it's a good question. So you know, I was into this whole Indo house scene for a while now, and. Um, he seen me play once or twice and you know private gatherings and things like that and uh, i was like you know there's definitely a movement or something we can create because it's very fresh and uh, people in this region you know haven't heard anything like this before yeah. so let's put them put something together so first like oh desi nice boys <laughs> desi nice everything's desi ya nahi karna abhi ya nahi chalega aisa nahi chalega are they ek raat karke to dekh just do one let's see what happens and we are good friends also right so, so that helped. that's and that's the thing you know like this mutual trust between us and we're both actually business people right so for us is like let's just put together and see what happens you know <coughs> and uh, i th- i remember the first night uh, cuz when the when the first event happened and you know i finished my set i came out he just looked at me and you know i could see like this glow in his eyes and like He's like now butterflies over his stomach. He's in the butterflies over. I said, "Chal, butter chicken, khana chal." Tears came out. I was sober. Yeah. I was sober. You remember? He was sober as hell. Was sober in your, at your own night. First, yeah. his first ever like sounds by so, Ux. Yeah. I was sober and I remember every single track. I was like listening to his music, like to see whether like do we really like do we do this again? Yeah. And then you know, like let's do this again, man. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> We came for this. I uh, I came for the second edition. Yeah, yeah, next level. Next yeah, yeah, appreciate it. So I'm actually now known for the set we did at Untold. Mm-hmm. That was the one which actually now has put us on the map. Like you guys are serious. Like something is really happening here. Yeah. So you know, I'm getting approached by like DJs worldwide, and they want to be a part of the experience, and you know, they want to be a part of this of of this clan that we are putting together. Yeah. So I think. Um, Some something's definitely there. We're just going for it wherever it goes. So there's a story about you, where uh, you s- you stop DJing after yeah. uni or something like that. Yeah, what happened over there? Why? Shit! How do you guys know about this? You know everything, my friend. I don't know. You know. <laughs> Sabka <laughs> background <laughs> checker <laughs> guy. First time. <laughs> this is the first fucking time we prepared it a little bit. <laughs> oh wow, man! You've done your homework. Yeah. So, um, you know, back in the day, um, just like him. My family was not okay with this whole DJ thing, because it was more like a band wala, like you know what you want. Because that in those years it wasn't just looked uh, right, you know. Yeah. So and also you're like you know we, we're from this whole tires market, auto parts family and What's things like. 
go tires market so um yeah i mean the the they didn't really like it so i would actually wear the scream mask like marshmallow no yeah like marshmallow when marshmallow didn't exist yeah. <laughs> and that was my entry used to be like two candles and a scream mask and i used to walk in like this when my set used to used to start What and was your, what was the genre that you were playing was it like dark it was uh, it was uh, punjabi it was it was basically hip hop punjabi kind of vibe Sick. like you know back in those days put sardara the yeah. rdb punjabi hit squad yeah. that kind of vibe so you were a part of rdb as well yeah drummer for the rdb right? yeah i was played drums for them so that was my next course of acting like after this thing like okay done you know i can't keep doing this mass thing is very hot <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> i was like let's just do something else and in this whole experience while i was doing this djing thing you know i got associated with rdb and um you know um you know started jamming with them doing gigs with them doing studio stuff with them right. got to learn a lot of you know in terms of music knowledge you know chords keys everything and that's where that's where all the knowledge is you know i mean back in those days the uh, the kind of instruments and the kind of uh, technology you had was all big analog mixing decks and things like that i mean no way am i going to invest that much money in building a studio yeah, yeah. but all of that now fits in a laptop right oh yeah <laughs> that's true yeah so rdb is concerned the drumming really helped like you know getting your timing right the uh, team members like building a team together and i have the story which i want to put out a lot of people have this misconception like you know artists like when they finish their gigs you know they probably f- you know stalking with women and you know there's parties going on and <laughs> freaking booze flowing and there's freaking cocaine everywhere and like it's bullshit yeah okay <laughs> we've just had chai pakode and freaking aloo paratha right after the gig <laughs> finished we'll go to our room us boys yeah. sitting hang chai pakode all right everyone's done yeah a nice good good gig okay everyone's going back to the room that's how we ended gigs that's the image that everyone has right like yeah you you are the one who's saying the vibe first of all yeah or wo log daru pee rahe hain they're drinking the alcohol or whatever the fuck they're doing so they probably expect you to be a little more higher than them exactly what do you have to say why not chai pakode is good enough bro <laughs> we want to make sure you have that experience oh. Yeah. I, I would love to feed off your vibe though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not? So I need you to be on that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> one day. <laughs> Anybody who's watching. Obviously, there's room. There's one more artist, one more DJ. You should wear a mask. Any guesses who? Yes. <laughs> who is this? Beats. 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 Fucking mask. How do you not yes. know? Yeah. Do in my initial years of Ux, for I think about a year or two, I used to wear a mask. Why? as a like i have a very straight expression that's what people used to tell me yeah. i used to hide it cuz i looked pissed off i have a resting bitch face yeah. <laughs> and this mask is so, very expressive bro yeah. trust me <laughs> trust me at this <laughs> more expressive than my oh, old face i have point of time bro was like two holes but no sort of white but i agree oh, with uh, kv that it's really hot very good <laughs> Wow. I don't think you have a resting bitch face anymore by the way. Not that anymore. that face is I, over. I, 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 yeah, you had uh, that was your childhood bro with us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop on to uh, DJ Manoj. Yes sir, How what's up? Uh, very How good. I'm amazing. I Thank you. What's your order you going to name again? Uh Neutron. Neutron. Yes. Wow. Why why is it Neutron? So basically um for anyone who's known me for say over an hour can probably figure out that I actually don't <laughs> have much of an opinion about a lot of things basically <laughs> very um similar to your uh, podcast name i actually don't give a fuck about a lot of things <laughs> and that's what neutron means it's basically uh not too positive not too negative it's just like in the middle of everything Fair. and that's where i prefer to be normally that's that's the vibe i'm getting from your voice yeah, yeah. like you really yeah. like you, you, you fucking you insult me as we like just keep the mics thoda distance based like they they catch yeah. okay mm-hmm. i'm used to actually telling people at weddings bhai thoda please upar karo because they keep saying yaar volume badhao volume badhao and then we have to keep telling them yahan pe rakho mic level so mic jana it's range bahut jata hai so yahan pe sir yahan pe sahi hai chalo badhiya Also, yeah. uh, I need to use this at weddings. Nah, I swear <laughs> to God. Bug guy, boy, yeah. Hey, how much fun that guy is. Up and cross. Stop going dragging. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, 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 
मत बोला कर बट सो वी एक्चुअली हैड अलॉट ऑफ म्यूचुअल फ्रेंड्स सो दैट इज फ्रेंड ऑफ आर्स दीपा विच इज आई मीन सिंस वी आर हेयर ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म I would like to actually say thank you to her because she's the one who actually connected Bharat and I. So yeah, we used to actually hang out in groups of I think 40s and 50s. This oh. is the number of people used yeah. to be Bharat's crew. It used to be Deepa and like Sharja crew. Yeah, back then it's it was. Like you're going around with your uh, what do you call Bharat or something? Kind of. You can no, you can actually say it was like that. So if you if you would go to a club, yeah. that's that. We actually would. I think Tushar yeah. yes, yeah. Yeah. Tushar can advocate for that. So uh, yeah, and then that's how Bharat and I got connected, and I think it was just good timing. Let's put it that, and he got me on board, and he had this uh, you know vision, which was uh, I was super new, so for him to actually trust me, and he was coming from uh, a background of actually doing you know really good club nights, so he had the experience, and for him to actually get me on board with like zero club experience, like actually not zero. I had Chi and uh, Keva experience yeah, yeah. back then, so I did have the basic understanding. He kya karna hai, you know, how to read the room was very very minimal. But then again, when he got me on board, I think um, I got myself like this mentor for life. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty pretty amazing from grooming me uh, musically and as a person. So I think uh, he had a really big hand in that. Wow. So yes. Sweet. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just saying it I'm from serious. the top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, but not at the same time. But yeah. I mean it. I can see Bharat tearing up a little bit. Bushpa. I would like to add a point. Uh, Manoj is being very humble and very modest. Uh, so if I remember correctly, when Bharat launched Armani. that was the time he used to play indo warehouse or indo tech that's what we call right now yeah. so his vision at that point of time was to play techno influenced with indian instruments at that point of time yeah. so yeah. it's like, amazing yeah yeah You're forward thinking pretty much yeah <laughs> i think that comes because um because of um, you know my i used to travel i used to know i still travel uh for gigs so the time i used to get between my gigs i uh instead of going out and exploring places i would actually go listen to a lot of music that's being played in different countries and my vision was always to bring that to dubai and if you look at dubai now i mean it's literally one of the best places in the world to party i would say better than ibiza in my opinion because the oh. partying here is class music here is brilliant so i think this is one of the things that really really helped me you know i heard a lot of music i feel like okay you know what let's put this in the set let's try and not be predictable Okay. Let's try and be different from what's already being played out there. Wow. So yeah, I think You're that also was also an ex band. Who is bang? Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, so the, it's a it's a really it's a really cool story. So I remember I was I was uh, sitting outside my university. So someone came and asked me, "Bhai, the ko life me kya karna hai?" <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, this is this is this is really cool. This is really cool. I I told him. <laughs> no, no, bro. You, you guys got to hear this. Trust me, all got to hear this. So, I told him, bro, yar, me ko DJ banna hai. He said, they ko DJ banna hai. I said, ham, bro. He said, dek, they ko acha DJ banna hai. I said, yes, bhoti badiya DJ banna hai. So he said, if you want to be a really good DJ, you have to be a dropout. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I'm so serious about it that you guys are actually falling for it. Actually, no one told me this shit. I lost interest in my studies. <laughs> 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 I, <laughs> I, I, I just, I honestly, actually, the the real story now is I actually want to go to Bombay and uh, Mumbai and actually do my uh, production course at SAE. But my dad was like, "Boss, ये क्या line है, you know?" Um, and this is like way way back. So when I actually joined Wollongong here, I was a complete rebel. Although I was not so bad at 
studies i decided you know what i'm not just going to do this shit and that's when once again deepa actually who was working in hsbc uh just put me through a call center and is like okay come you know we just need you to just basically yap on the phone and that just worked out for me and yeah. that's amazing And then, yeah, thank you so much, man. It means a lot, bro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. How can I help you, sir? <laughs> yeah. You know what? Do gigs and go in the morning in the bus and yeah. sleep. Wow. Wow. In yeah. He used to catch up on his sleep in the bus, like from yeah. Sharjah to. Oh. Yeah, media city. Media city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. yeah. yeah, man. Congrats on that. Thank you. When did you realize you become banker? You become now after like. Because you were doing both of them at the same time, right? You were being a DJ at night, banker in the morning. Yeah. You were like, okay, now banking. Yeah. So the thing is, uh, Dubai had this uh, rule of uh, being 21 before. Not had, it still has the rule. Yeah, you have to be 21 to DJ at club. So at that point, I started doing the groundwork already. I already knew it at the back of my head. You know, there was this calling, which was always there. It was very strong. Ki one life, YOLO, yeah. and yeah. let's try it. Karna hi hai types. But uh, I did my groundwork right. I, I was playing at really small private events then for like, a, you know, really really minimal fee. I had zero clue about what the actual price should be for a gig. So I would just go and be like, "Up, you know, I'm up. Go itna denge." It wouldn't be like I charge so much. Uh-huh. So I got my experience from there, and then I went into this war of DJs, which was by uh, City One Zero One One Hundred One Point Six. Sorry. That doesn't uh, happen. No, it doesn't happen, no, it doesn't it happen anymore. Like <coughs> yeah. Now it doesn't happen. Yeah, and that's what really. gave me a good platform to put myself out there and then yeah that's how eventually i started to quit the bank job and then i started traveling for weddings thanks to ux and dagama that's where i got my first destination wedding and then well that's yeah, that then <laughs> yeah so yeah a lot of uh, us will agree ux has given um, a platform to all of us basically wherever we are ux has really helped us with uh, you know just not merely it being a club kick but it's also done way 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 more in my case everything for me but so wow. yes but speak of platform like for you like your music is it your music is it your music is it yogi yogesh kya hai so it's yog music Why? But why? Because <laughs> <laughs> in Delhi, once I was partying, so this guy, hi, my name is DJ Yogesh. I was like, ये कैसा टट्टी नाम है वो? Back then I had, <laughs> back then I had no nothing that I want to be DJ. I loved music always, but it was not in my ha- my mind that I want to be a DJ because I was a photographer. Whoa, you're a photographer. I was a photographer. Abhi kya ho raha hai uske saath? Abhi left the camera. Because no no no, because in Dubai everybody wants to collab, nobody wants to pay. So uh, like uh, and you got stuck <laughs> in the bottle, bro. Yeah yeah. So, so I so like Guru Dakshina baki hai. Main promise hai main I'll I'll do a shoot. Mera Guru Dakshina baki hai. But you're working with City 101 yeah. right now. Like yeah. what's what's that like? So I'm the music head for the station from 2017 till now. and i decide the music on the station what will play how many times at what hour what song everything is i decide uh, you guys if you want to listen to better music or request yeah. like <laughs> folk music yeah. request in the morning request no, 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 in the morning, the morning we only play commercials so yeah <laughs> fair enough fair enough should it be comment for what song you want to listen to on city comment down yeah you have So you recently started uh, mixing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what made you get into it? So I I always as I I'm saying that I always loved music, and I used to go to club in in India, but I never used to enjoy. So I started creating my sets on so Soundforge. So you were DJs and you're like, I can do it better. Yeah, because. but not technically no but musically they used to play and they used to drop a bhojpuri song and it's like <laughs> bhai why kahan tha ye india mein party delhi tatti naam pe like like it was a good set and the crowd is going crazy and they suddenly drop a song which just kills the vibe for me yeah. but the rest of the people are drunk and they are becoming nag on the floor like nag on the floor like what music but i never used because i never used to enjoy then i moved to dubai it was my first week in dubai and it was the first weekend and tarun uh, my colleague he's like chal tujhe club night dikhata hu i like chal okay and then and then that, that was the first time 
uh, in a club and it was uh, Ux night. And yeah. then I was like... Who was playing that time? Do you remember? No. Uh, because I was very new. Yeah, it's been yeah. no, so I had no... No he clue who's playing. Music. He's like, no, 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 no. Ah. I don't care who's playing, but there's good music. No, 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 no. no, no. So <laughs> honestly, kiss it anyway. But that was the first time I stayed in a club till 3 a.m. Whoa, sick. that was the first time because till before 2017, I hardly attended 10 times a gig or something. I only used to go for concerts or live music, but. After coming to Dubai, I started going to clubs, and it's always been Ux night. And then after two years, I thought I should try, but I never took it seriously. And in 2022, I asked my first teacher, DJ Buddha, (laughs) can you help me how to mix properly? Can you teach me what to do? What's the software? What's the console? And I'm a very, like, a in a way stupid if i like something i just buy it i bought yeah, the console i heard something about that recently which is you play the guitar right yeah, yeah. but then again uh, from my insights yeah, yeah you have bought an instrument quite recently oh, for about two to three grand yeah and <laughs> you have not touched that fucking thing yet yeah 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 and now you're looking to sell it also <laughs> uh, why the fuck is that happening? no i gift it to a friend <laughs> It was a hang drum. This what oh, is this? What yeah. instrument is this? Hand pan. Hand pan. Hand pan. So oh. why are you not interested in this handsy thing? So no. <laughs> 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 so my focus completely shifted to DJing, and I used to believe that it's not that difficult, but when you are at the console, seeing the crowd. Fat jati hai. Nahi, usme nahi fatti. When you see Bharat, <laughs> when you see Bharat looking at you. <laughs> you forgot songs, you forgot where the Q button is, you forgot where the play button is. <laughs> I think I think it's happened with all of us at one point. No, 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 it's just for at me. one point. Yeah. But that's a part of the experience, right, of being a DJ. Like sometimes it just goes off. <laughs> right? Oh, Tushar is like fuck no bro. Main watch <laughs> nahin, bro hota hai. Hota hai, if you're right? doing it for so long, like for so many years, there you have your uh, they say other everyone has a bad day at office. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you have like a bad night where sometimes you just go blank and you're like, fuck, what do I do now? That's like once in a like while huh, once, in a, once in a the but initial stages both are. yes because uh, sometimes it depends you have a very difficult crowd in front of you yeah you know mm. they, you don't know and it's very difficult for you to get into their head and see what they want and sometimes you just don't connect and you have to really like rack your brains up and when you have everyone dancing you have that one guy standing at the bar <laughs> <laughs> and staring at you and judging and you are like fuck all these uh, 300 400 <laughs> people <laughs> why are you not dancing <laughs> <laughs> then he becomes the target and you're trying to make at least his legs move like just that's when he's playing the Bosch police <laughs> 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 now you know why the Bosch police song got released yeah. so no I have a but then now I know why because I know this one DJ I'm not saying the name he's one of our boys so like you said on the look I give so I'm not giving the look he's like <laughs> said, look at me, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exactly look at me. Look at me. <laughs> but then I don't know why he was looking at me. No, so, I have this thing yeah. where I'm playing for a night and sometimes it's really difficult. Like he said, the crowd is very difficult. You don't know what's happening. So my biggest indicator of a night going hit or a flop is him smiling at the end of the night. If he's smiling, then we had a great night. If he's not and he's just telling you bye, tomorrow our call is going to come. <laughs> oh. Whoa, what so call is this? What <laughs> call is bro? Why do you, what, what do you yeah. say in this it's call? Like yeah. like I think that's, <laughs> that's best left unsaid yeah, yeah. between okay. us. Yeah. That's best left untold, by the way. Untold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two of you performed at Untold, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's give a shout out for that. Whoa, that's yeah. fucking thank, sick, you guys. Guys. thank you, thank you. That is fucking sick. All your mega festival, big event, huge event. How did you manage to capture that? By hello, my friend here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so a very dear friend of mine, uh, Rahul. Uh, <coughs> so he was in touch with the Untold guys, and uh, so we had to meet the owner of Untold. And uh, he had a vision. I mean, he has a vision, a very big vision. And then he's like, "What? How can you contribute?" I was like, "You know what? I can help you. You know, put a stage up for a Bollywood night. Get the Bollywood crowd coming in." 
uh, and 25% of the population is Indians. So you know, that's a mere chunk of population to bring to your festival. He's like, fine, do one thing, come to Romania, come, to, uh, come and experience untold Romania, and then we'll see. So I went on with him to untold Romania. And obviously, it was a festival experience, a beautiful festival, I must say, beautiful. In fact, it's ranked the sixth best festival in the world. Wow, and it's very beautiful. The people out there are amazing. So yeah, we began talking, he came on to Dubai. And then uh, he's like, let's do it. And then we were, we, we were like kind of discussing which stage, what slot, when, who, what. So earlier the concept was to do a Bollywood night at Untold. And then uh, I don't know, and, and it was happening, Bollywood, it was a Bollywood night because they were on a Bollywood stage as well. Like we'll do a Bollywood night. But then when KV and me began working on this concept of Sounds by Arcs, uh, and then I think they went on Feb, uh, 17th of Feb, in the month of Jan we decided. In yeah. Jan we decided, you know what, you know what? Uh, let's show them at the Bollywood with the tech. tech yeah. Let's show this combination to the crowd. That way at least we'll cater the international audience as well. And we'll, that way at least they, they will even hear the Bollywood music. True. You know? <laughs> and that's what happened when we did the sounds bugs are untold, there was a good amount of crowd who were non-Indians. That's, sort of, that's the main thing. We wanted to retain yeah. whoever was playing there. We wanted to retain the, the people that he was playing for. And then obviously the Asians also came in. And we, we managed to retain them yeah. Yeah. All throughout. Of them. All of them. So All that them. means we had a good mix of like the English numbers that they would already know. Yeah. But we blended in with the, a few Bollywood vocals like a desi vibe to it which we feel will match really well yeah the desi vibe to it but we didn't make it completely indian hmm. so if so you've seen the videos so if you've seen the videos there are lots of guys who are standing girls guys that's standing next to her they're not asians like there yeah. was a guy standing right next to me he's like within from the region he's like dude i'm from saudi i came here only for untold can i stand in the front and you know have a have, have, a, have a party with you so please bro be, be my guest wow so that was the crowd we are catering to yeah, so you know, absolute international crowd. Like yeah. I, I put on a, a, a put up a, a video on YouTube with my entire set, so you can kind of see the vibe that was there during that whole set, wow. and you can make out like uh, there's a lot of different cultures there. Uh, I think when I saw, I saw a lot of European yeah. and uh, like white people in general. Yeah, they were a good mix of Arabs, Europeans, yeah. Indians, you know, from all over the world. Wow, and I think that that kind of set the mark like okay but we know we're on the right thing you know we're but that's right fucking huge dude like to get like a bollywood scene set onto an international stage and for you guys to perform like that's fucking amazing man yeah. 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 Thank you. okay so i think we're gonna head towards the game now <laughs> <laughs> my legs are shaking. has it been one and a half hours <laughs> yeah bro for sure either here <laughs> It's been one and a half hours now, I think. Like, Already? Are you guys tired? We can take a break. On the way, water. Don't have milk. We can bake it, bro. All right, guys. So, rolling, right? huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They will. <laughs> we'll chop in. Can you? Did you get that? You <laughs> <laughs> can't put that in if you want to. Can this be the <laughs> the first shot? That yeah, we'll put the teaser with Manoj trying to catch the fucking water yeah, bottle, bro. Teaser, <laughs> Behind the scenes, everyone was like, "Oh, that impression!" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets bruised. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, so the the game is about. Uh, we want to spread awareness about Ux. All right, and uh, these questions are all based on Ux. I'm going to ask the question to all of you. Uh, you got to make a sound, and draw. What sound do you want to decide? What sound it is? It'll be. It'll be like that. Guys, you guys have got to scratch with your. Yeah, and whoever scratches the loudest, Ronak will pick that person, and uh, you have to answer the question. Loudest or loudest? Chal first, first, first is better. So if you can pester him, pester him is cool. I can't mix properly. And uh, <laughs> no, like you, you need to chicka 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 in the mic. You just chicka chicka and over here and he will decide. All right. I'm sure you guys are good at scratching, yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. So yeah, guys, you can scratch fucking balls as well. It's All cool. All right, fine. They'll be like, they'll be like, 
How would we just moan? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you if you want to moan, go no, ahead. That's fine. <laughs> I All right. Have two children, by the way. <laughs> I'll be like a hey, you can have ten, but you can still moan, right? It's cool. Don't worry. Your kid is going to be watching this. I know. Oh my God. Can you hold the Do put okay. your fucking hands up, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Can you want to say that story? Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Whoever puts their hand up first. Oh, put your fucking hands up. <laughs> oh. Oh my God, KV is going to like have a hard time at home, man. Put it together. At the same time, sure. <laughs> All right, so you guys do this podcast in other languages, which my kids can watch. <laughs> you need to teach me a few, then, bro. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. Uh, whoever raises their hand first, if you know the answer, raise your hand, and uh, Ronak will select the person by throwing a heart at you. Okay, you have the heart ready. And uh, and then Bharat is going to tell if your answer is correct or if it's bullshit, and he's going to fucking give it to you guys after that. Okay. I'm safe in this. It's the call, guys. Nothing else. Don't worry. <laughs> Yogi and I are the safest in this. I'm the baby. So one year old. I'm the baby. I'm going to be born. All right, guys. What year did Ak start in? You can go 14 years back. You have to raise your hand and not think out loud. You have to say, put your hands up. You have to. Okay, give him the mic. Approach. Twenty ten. Twenty. Twenty ten. Twenty fourteen. Twenty. Yeah. A says a twenty ten is a correct. That's right. But Manoj, I don't do it. You were there for the first night. I know, but you know we were discussing math before this, right? Yeah, we were discussing numbers. Exactly. So, I'll check it. 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 So, what year was it? Twenty ten. Too late. Date up, baad mein aayega. Aayega, aayega, aayega. April, aayega. April 16. Okay, so, so Ace, Ace is one, one, one answer. All right. Remember your points. Remember your points, and if you try to cheat, we'll catch you. <laughs> okay, what is the actual date of Ax's anniversary? <laughs> you, 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 Is Buddha? Who is it? Ronak will decide. No, no, it's your. It's him. Ronak is the. Ronak is the judge, jury, executioner. Sixteenth. Twentieth April. One second, what? The date, anniversary, actual date. Yeah. Sixteenth. That's. Oh, sixteenth of what, bro? It is fucking twelve months. Huh? April. 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 Is that correct? Perfect. Why did you choose that date again? Sixteenth <laughs> 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 is also six plus one. Seven. That's oh. four things. We'll come to that. Check. I think it's a Thursday. Probably. Oh, Thursday. Whoa, bro! Thursdays are like the weekend, right? Probably yeah. Thursday, Friday. Friday, Friday, yeah. Friday. Friday, and then move to Saturday. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Uh, Thursday. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Sorry. Back Where else got empty that night? Okay, so the two <laughs> new boys have won one point each. So Shah, I know Karni is new because he's <laughs> very old. With Ak, I'm new, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> fuck, fuck, no. We don't count that. Okay. Can you guys tell me uh, the meaning of Ak in one word, bro? What is this? I know because I've had the <laughs> conversation <laughs> with him. <laughs> <laughs> reflection. Is it reflection? Actually, actually, yeah. I know the first. I know the very first meaning. It's basically reflect your wild side. Yes, B. That, that was a tagline. That was a tagline. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah. I think Bharat has sobered up now. Yeah, oh. that is what the fuck moment already. Just reflect. Ah, we must reflect. Okay, fuck the wild <laughs> side. So <laughs> <laughs> tagline, show <laughs> right answers <laughs> there. <laughs> so Ace is leading, guys. Please catch up. Okay, where was the first ever beach, uh, Desi beach party in Dubai? Oh my God, Come on. Ace again. What? I mean, I was there. I was playing I for it. Yes. Okay, go. Okay, go. Go. Was it Soul Beach? Can you take the mic, please? Soul Beach. Mic. Soul Beach. Soul Beach. Soul Beach. Soul Beach. So is that correct? No. It is called Soul Beach now, but it yeah. was called something else before. Okay, but that's the same. It, at JBR. No. Uh, Jumana Beach. Uh, okay, but it's. Jabal Ali. Now it's Soul Beach. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's right. I get it. Yeah. So what? Technically, he's right. Yeah. Technically, I get it, but th- I think there's something to that day. Something happened, right? Yeah, yeah. There was sandstorm that day. Yeah. Oh. So what happened was, I don't know if you guys know. So uh, it was the first beach party at Jabal Ali, and that, that that place hotel wouldn't give that venue so easily. Mm. Everybody tried doing an event over there, but nothing worked. So we managed to get that venue, mm. and uh, it was looking good, amazing. I remember Mitesh left Elegante at three in the morning, went to uh, Mitesh Bhatia, yeah, yeah. and then he went to Jabal Ali to see the production. And everything is done, and then next day I'm getting up. I get a call from the FMB guy. 
the GM over there that time. He's like, but are you ready? I said, yeah. You sure? I'm like, yeah. But just see, ha- just see outside what's happening. I just <laughs> see there was a sandstorm. Oh wow! Oh. There was a sandstorm happening. I'm like, okay. I just freshened up and then I rushed to the venue. I see Mitesh all in sand, all in sand. He hasn't slept. And he's like, now what do we do? I like, we still go ahead with the event. We'll see. We got calls. Are you sure the event is happening? Yeah, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. So we were expecting a crowd of say around fifteen hundred people before. How many? 1,500. We were expecting. But then we still managed to pull in around 800 people. Yeah. And the venue was happy. And then they gave us a second date. Otherwise, they were not giving us a second date. And the second wow. second date, we saw around 2,000 people. Whoa. Yeah. Nice. Nice. What's with you and like, gathering people? Like That's a thing of yours, right? You're going around 50 people into a club like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going need, on there? He doesn't need to market. The market is him. Yeah, <laughs> market is right here. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. So, did he get the point? Yes. yes. Okay, KV's on five. Oh, sorry, one. KV's <laughs> <laughs> on five. five. <laughs> that should be your intro. <laughs> okay, fine, fair. Um, all right. Which was the first premium club to uh, have an Ox Daisy night? Beats. Wow, Beats. Missed. So, now you can't answer, bro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Go for it. Uh, premium club? Yeah. yeah. Armani. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 Correct. yeah. 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 Why what? did it take some time to think? Yeah. No, okay. He was taking food. Bar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Elegante. I, I was thinking Elegante about premium. how many back then done the premium clubs, but at that point of time, Armani was, was the first. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. most yeah. premium club. How did you manage to grasp an Armani for us brown people, bro? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so earlier, uh, all the desi used to happen towards the Burdubai side. It was so difficult to get a club to do a DC night. Weekends was out of the question. So weekdays they would be shut. And then um, it was actually Zubair who was in touch with the, the manager of the club. And then uh, Budwar was doing pretty well that time. And up again, it was on a weekend. So I was like, fine. I mean, the manager called. He's like, you know what? Let's do a, you want to do a night at Armani? I'm like, why not? What day? When is it? We are shut. We'll open it up for you. I'm like, okay, fine, done. I remember the date, 21st November was a Wednesday. I'm surprised it's not 25th. <laughs> <laughs> it <was> changed 21st. <laughs> he really wants it to be a 7th. Seven. Seven. <laughs> and then, yeah, and, there were, and the first night we did, and there were more people outside the club than the inside of the club. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, it was oh, I think I was one of them. <coughs> yeah. I was outside yeah. the club. Maybe not the first gig, but like third, fourth. Yeah. 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 What year was it? Huh? What year was it? It was, uh, if I'm not wrong, 2012. Oh shit! Shit, dude! Yeah, yeah. I was like waiting at home to turn 21. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so after Armani opened up and the response was amazing, then other premium clubs started to give a night. You know, I mean, the Desi night began to be recognized after that night. So you you sort of like broke the barrier there, right, for the Desi community. To hop on to Sheikh Zayed Road and downtown and stuff. Yeah. I think we all somewhere or the other have contributed and played a big role, all yeah. of us, to do, yeah. to pick up, a, I mean, to bring this in where it is right now. No, but I have to say this, that, you know, it took me time to answer is because the first premium club, Armani, we did it. Then White, White, White was, the was, one I was completely about. not allowing anyone who was other than any other race. Bro, uh, can you tell me what, 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 what's the name of this place? White. White. How the fuck White. do you expect them to put brown in, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we had a very, very strict uh, entry uh, oh, rules right policy, yeah, yeah. rules and regulation, then base. So, like, it, that's why it took me time to answer that because we've just opened doors to premium clubs. Fair. Wow. That's sick, man. Another round of applause for all of us. Yeah. All right. Uh, where was the first Ox night? What's the venue? Whoa! The Gama. <laughs> oh, yeah. Century. Please understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's the judge jury, bro. Sorry. At least one. I'm, I'm just I'm the spokesperson of the question. Uh, I, I, knew back, I knew that question was coming to my heart. I knew that question was coming to my heart. Actually, man, seriously. Bro, I cannot believe anything he's saying, bro. He <laughs> caught me hard last oh. time. I, I fell off the bike, so yeah. Wow, Which you're a biker? Not really. <laughs> 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 looks like, <laughs> looks like it. But there's someone. Which bike? Koi hai yahan pe ek biker hai. Ask him which bike. Which bike? E bike. What bike? What? Yeah. 
Yeah, it was that. Oh my god, bro. I honestly thought I was going to crash in the grill. I was like, you know what? Either it's a grill or me. So I was like, fuck that. <laughs> wow. We thought it's a tattoo covering. That's it. I wish, bro. Guys, don't laugh. Karma is a. Piyach! Alright, guys, the last question. You guys know your points? <laughs> I, like it. I told you, someone is fucking me. Five. Ace is acing it. He's acing it so All right, guys. What was what has been the record attendance uh, at a Ux event? Holy color carnival. The number. That was I think. Uh, Wait, you haven't raised your hand. Which need? Yeah, okay. I like it. He wants to. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fine. I think it was uh, six thousand, six or eight thousand, something like this. You have to get one number. I'm not seven, I think she's just I'm, seven. I'm not a numbers guy, and seven, I think B seven, knows seven, that very well. So, yeah. So, yeah, it was around between eight and thousand. Yeah, so. seven thousand. I said eight. So I think it's seven thousand. <laughs> I think it's seven thousand. Give me, give me one point, yeah, please. Give me half a point. So, what's the score line? The game is over. One for me, one for him, one for him. Who has one? Ace one. Ace one. No, two Ace. for him. He answered two. Yeah. Two, two, yeah. And two and Manoj two. Manoj has answered two. Oh, this answered one two. fun question. Yeah. Time breaker, bro. To ask. Okay, you will ask the question. Something about Ux. It's a tiebreaker. Please make it fucking difficult. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> damn. It was pretty random, yeah? Yeah. Okay, what do I ask? What do I ask? What, what do I ask? <laughs> question. Who is the next question? The last question, the tiebreaker is who is Bharat's favorite DJ in Ux? Oh. <laughs> Yo, my hand is up. You are not in the competition oh, anymore. <laughs> it's between them. <laughs> Okay, that was a joke. I was just giving him time to think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was a question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, fair. You have an answer to that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll tell you in the next three months. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any question in mind? Others, we have to like give two winners. Yeah, please, please, please. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's just have two winners. Okay, give it to me for winners. the fuck of it. <laughs> <laughs> we have two winners. Let me go and get your gift. Wow. Oh, there's actually a gift, huh? Yeah, nice, yeah. Answer, yeah, yeah. We are monetized now. When's the, <laughs> next, <laughs> when's the next podcast? I'm telling you, we made five dollars on YouTube. Arre, Trust. Super bear. All will be Thank you. Damn. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's one. sick, bro. Thank you so much. Can they also keep the hearts? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want okay, the this, or is, the blue? this is actually pretty cool, yeah? Yeah. If you want to request a song, I'll put it on the request. What the fuck is that? Oh, let's Bado talk. Upar. Let's talk about that. Gaane ke request. Oh, oh, yeah, this is a topic that we wanted to pick up with you guys. Because I, you. okay, I'll be very, I'm guilty of it. I go up I'm with my phone. I'm like, please, ye hmm. How do you guys feel about that? Why? Of <clears throat> course, I want to listen to the song. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, but there is a guy who's there to do his job, right? I mean, I'm maybe just speaking for myself, maybe for the rest of them. But we know what you want to listen to, right? It is coming. So sometimes people forget, like they don't have patience, right? Like they need to just have patience. Like, aayega bhai, ham logo ko pata hai tumko jo gana sunna hai. What do you want to listen to? Is the happening song. We know it. It's we are going to play it. So just have some patience, like you know. There's no point in coming to us with the camera or with your phone and hey, now, 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 now. We are going now. Can you please play now? I'm going. The next five minutes. Oh, it's my friend's birthday. Like we know it's all bullshit. You're not going anywhere. You are going to stay till three o'clock. So yeah, we'll play it. We'll play it. Just relax. We'll play it. What you have something to say? He's like waiting to say. Tell me. I have. No, I just I want to say, like, okay, if you're coming and requesting, it's all fine. Just don't sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> hum the tune. It's not possible oh, to like listen to <laughs> <laughs> you hum or sing in a club. Fair, fair, fair. No, but, uh, giving requests is fine. Then. We are here to play for you. So if you have anything, then we are not like <coughs> under armies to come in your brain exactly and know ki at this point Bharat wants to listen to this kind of, like this song. So it's okay for you to come and give a request. Come Are you saying B makes a lot nice. of requests? No, no, I'm just... Because he's a guy in front of me. He's never requested. He, he, he normally texts requests. Yeah, I'm the lucky guy, I think. He no, but he has a really nice way. He says, please, if you can. So yeah. if he's it fits in your set. Yeah. Yeah. He always says, please, if you can drop it. 
there you go that's yeah. the best see, that's now that's now that that's on this subject that's what i would say that's what you call a request exactly yeah, request ka to concept there is, uh, there is no concept of request yeah. because people come and say bhai ye baja yeah just please drop please to hota hi nahi hai that's to out of the context only so, so it's never, right? i don't demand. know why we call it a request no, when or, it's not a request get your song ka name right you can't come and tell me to play cinderella <laughs> so I don't know what is Cinderella. Cinderella, <laughs> you already know what he means, bro. Is no, that you have a thing against it? Come on. At that point of time, you come and say Cinderella song. So what am I supposed <laughs> to Cinderella? Song? You know it's fucking so Bijli Bijli ke end, bro. Not really. Bro. Bro. <laughs> not <laughs> not See, really. Now we're sitting like this, so we know. And yeah. Cinderella, Bhojpuri. No, but I do understand that. I have so many people in front, and you are. See, DJing is not about just taking a song and putting it like. Yeah. We think like four songs ahead. So at that time you come and say Cinderella song, so it, it doesn't. Uh, we can't register. But no, and, also, and also, and also, you know, like adding to your point, what you said, a request can be accepted and can be denied. So it's a request, right? So you request a song. Maybe it's not fitting in my track list, and I don't think, I, and I don't think a song will, will be good for the whole crowd or the <coughs> club. So I will, I, I will not play. You put a request, fine, fantastic. But it's a request. It's not an yeah. order or a demand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would people, say people need yeah. to get that right. You put a request. You can't go like I put a request. He has to play now. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. In clubs, it doesn't make sense. But private parties, I still understand because yeah, yeah. it's a yeah, private yeah. affair. It's a different setting. Exactly. People want. He's hosted a private event, and he's your good friend. So you want to listen? I'm there to play your. But yeah. there's a way to come in. Yeah, but when they so request a track, we also have to understand that they are leaving in the next two minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> But that's become so yeah, I'm leaving now. now. So, so I'm, please, I'm assuming the moral. Yeah, I'm I'm saying please, they don't say please. And once you play it, they're like yeah, yeah. No, you should bada. you should tell them like गाड़ी में जाके सुन लो ना वेग दो. नहीं नहीं ऐसा होता है. After you play also end of the night when you're packing like यार मेरा गाना नहीं बजाया यार. अरे बजाया एक बार दो बार नहीं बजाया. Second time I told you play yeah. again. Tell him come play. Tell him come next week. Come back and sing again. Don't complain. They have oh, complained. Wow. Really? Yeah 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 yeah. They have complained. No. Okay, but I also want to know. Like what is the weirdest song request that you guys have gotten? We'll yeah. start with Bhojpuri. <laughs> <laughs> name the song. Name so, the song. So it was not a lame song or anything. Bharat specifically told me no wedding songs. Okay. Or I'm a new DJ. I know I'm a warm up DJ. I cannot touch main tracks. So I need to <coughs> make a playlist accordingly. Or usme I'm not supposed to touch any wedding songs. So there was a guy who's like, can you play Gallan Gudiya? And I was like. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, why? I like, I I need Bharat's approval. <laughs> <laughs> Bharat's going to bring the vibe out here. What, what was like the? To be song? honest, um, I can't remember a song song per se, but I think I could remember the most funniest story which I've encountered. Tell me. So this is when Baby Doll had just come out. Oh, I remember and, uh, everybody wanted to listen to that song. Exactly. So there we go. Everyone wants to listen to it now. Maybe this chick who came and asked me for the song was probably not aware that this is actually Baby Doll. <laughs> so she came. She came again. She's like, "Aren't you going to play the track?" I said, "Give me the, give me like a few minutes and I'll drop it." What then? Ah, you're up. You got to put the set down, anyways. So I think this is ten minutes later. This chick is now probably gone. Had a couple of shots. She comes ramming to me on the console. I asked you for one track and one track only, and you can't play Baby Doll. I'm like, okay. bhai, sun le, chali raha hai. <laughs> She goes like, oh, this is baby doll. I said, yeah. So what do you want about? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm sure it was her only because she kept coming and asking for the same song. So yeah, I think that's probably one of the most uh, funniest stories I can relate to. Songs to. All shots be live, bro. Yeah. So songs to, anyways. Yeah. I think KV can. Uh, Give me whatever fucking oh, five song request for bro. me. I think <laughs> he's five and he's seven. <laughs> Both of the like the sound of Ox, sounds by Ox Knights. Hardly people ask for requests, which is a good thing because they kind of understood the vibe. Yeah. Also, people are not aware of like what. Yeah, what, would what go can you put on that? Like, because yeah. of Bollywood music, it's right? It's new to people uh, because I was like a security guard. Yeah, he was standing behind, behind also. Right. And also, I did. I get people did bring their phones up and did this and all that, and I would just do. Yeah, with I good, great, great choice. Yeah. But I'm not talking about the play. Choosing to ignore. Yeah, no. You yeah. just you you have to be polite to people around you. Yeah. You can't yeah. just ignore it, right? So yeah. you just you be polite. You're like, oh, okay, thank you very much. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll sorry. So it, they understand. And I, I I mean, till now I've not received a complaint that oh, you know, you, you didn't have this or you don't have that. I think they kind of expect that, so I'm kind of happy with that situation. Mm, so but can you be fucking? Uh, yeah, I want to add something. Mm. You're, the, you're the first. Night. I think I told you the story. Yeah. The first yeah. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first night, sounds by Ox, only by invites, only by guest list. We did that because 
we don't want the crowd coming and asking for mm-hmm. desi music mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so there's a very uh, a, a very good guest of ours uh, they, they had table no, and they go like i was passing by to check on the table they're like are you guys good and he goes like so yaar wo gana play karna yaar wo kaun sa animal ka gana oh yeah bro this is a indo tech set it's a concept that we're building enjoy this concept and give give a feedback i have okay dekho maine order kiya dekh 18 years 15 years order kiya maine to mere log gana play kar le wow i like that take you okay i walk back and then after half an hour he comes back me go play karna wo gana like bro nahi hoga wo bro ye phone le Spotify. Put it on their ear like this. Chakko. <laughs> That's it. Is that like in no tech set me animal truck kaise ghusega abhi wala bethe bade and then but yeah I mean you have these but then but there's one thing there right there's one thing industry. good about requests. It kind of you know it kind of also challenges you like as a producer for myself to see hi can I make something out of this? So when I go back and I you know start hearing those songs again and I'm like okay let's see what I can make out of it. So it's kind of a good challenge to kind fair, of pick up. Fair, fair. Yeah. But you still haven't fucking answered, by the way. Please uh, tell me the song. Song ka naam batao. Arjun Veli is the one. Arjun Veli is the one. <laughs> During an Indo Tech, very fit, good. Offered doesn't fit Arjun in one twenty five BPMs. You yeah. know, it's a very like fair. It's a difficult speaking, one. Speaking of animal, yeah, like a lot of people come and request because obviously that track is now the happening Jamal Kudu, right? So yeah. instead of saying that name, they'll be ah, oh, play that song. No, ah, yeah. Like okay, you tell me the name. Like, what a job, right? You don't need to dance. They, they just put a glass like this. Ah, oh, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. That one, like the way yeah, he does it. Yeah, we heard Armani when the song just came out. So he was the first one to play it, like yeah. when it just came out. So he played and my set. Now he had already played it, like so. I took over the console at twelve o'clock. One. 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 So just before I took the console, he played the song. Now people heard it and it was really brand new. Fresh. For the first half an hour, I could only see people after every track putting their glasses on their head and doing that. Whoa! That's sick. And it just sick. from my mind that Jamal, so I called him like, "What are you doing?" He like, "Boy, Jamal, could do animal ka gana." I'm like, "Hey, then let's play and finish it off, man." Wow, <laughs> that is sick. So is that also your like requested track? No, I had a similar experience with the same track. Like when it came out, me and Bharat, we were at a wedding in Thailand. I didn't know what track it was. They made me download it, and they played. Everyone's doing the same step. I am so confused on what is happening because <laughs> <laughs> the track is not a track. It's an entry track yeah, for yeah, Bobby yeah, Deol yeah, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Abrar's entry. So okay. it's just a very confusing. And he thing knew because happened. he's on the radio, right? Mm. So he knows what's it was what's in fresh like. And yeah. I could see that people are going crazy about this, so I dropped it because I'm not allowed to touch popular tracks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was new, oh, so, wow. so I dropped it just finishing so my set. Sorry, <laughs> 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 I dropped it. Made that. And going to play the hard ones, man. Is it? I'm punishing you. Let's talk to me. Yoga is getting it tomorrow. And it's a call. <laughs> 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 Like a villain, guys. You know, Bharat is very nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that Why funny? <laughs> Because you're laughing yourself. Just the way you said it, it was funny. <laughs> so, funny. is that your track? Uh, But see, know. over the years, I've heard so many people come and say, for example, if there's an Ishq play, Sukhbir ka, that's like the fastest Bollywood track or a Punjabi desi track. Yeah. And Which then they'll come and tell Ishq, Sukhbir. Sukhbir. Oh, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Then. ऐसे टाइम पे देर कमने लो कुछ फास्ट बजाओ यार नो आई एम नॉट दिस इज अ स्टेल जोक और व्हाटएवर बट दिस एक्चुअली हैपेंस इवन नाउ इफ यू आर प्लेइंग ऑलवेज टेल देम आप थोड़ा और फास्ट नाचो इफ यू आर इफ यू आर प्लेइंग पंजाबी इन अ क्लब यू विल आई हैव हैड दिस एक्सेस दिस पीपल जस्ट डू इट सडी गली बज रहा है भाई और क्या सुना है देखो फेयर फेयर या वाह दैट्स वेरी कूल बीट्स फॉर मी इज लाइक रिक्वेस्ट व्हाटएवर जस्ट डोंट सिंग Don't <laughs> sing. Please. What was the weirdest request? Don't, don't you do that thing where you like turn the volume on and everyone has to like sing that whatever the hook is? Are you not that kind of a DJ? Like, some people do it. Some people don't. The it's like on your taste yeah. and what's playing. But it's just like when you're coming to a request, I can barely hear you to talk to me because yeah. the monitors are so loud, the club uh, speakers are so loud. So just don't sing. Phone is a good thing now. Everyone's putting it on their phone <laughs> and showing it. But yeah, Whoa, request that, stuff. That's I how they do it. Yeah. 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 Wow. Right. And somebody comes, they are walking towards you. Walk into a you I don't care about how. Hey, Ghana, Ghana. You haven't. Apple Music 
There's you haven't seen that read? There's a scroll where text on it now. Yeah. Which really? You know, the people yeah, yeah. 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 They know all that mehnat of going to the phone. Gana to wohi amplifier hi <laughs> Come with a nice fresh request. Yeah. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. No, there's, a, <laughs> there's a reel where uh, someone's irritating the DJ with the phone and the request. He gives the phone or she gives the phone to the DJ. He go, he looks at the phone, changes their language, makes it Chinese and gives back the phone. <laughs> like it's a very popular reel. Wow. wow. You guys should do that. <laughs> no, bro. I don't have much time. Take it, children. <laughs> we don't have that much time. Okay, wow. Mr. Ace, please tell me. Yeah, weirdest, I don't know, but yeah, same like what I spoke about. I don't want the same answer, bro. Yeah, pretty much everyone, no, down, no, everyone no, faced the same thing. Same. Yeah, it's, it's, it is the same thing. Everyone. Yeah, same with everyone. because see, whatever the popular track is at that point, yeah. they're mostly going to come and request that, that song. Okay. So irrespective of whoever is playing, so that's the track that they're going to come and be like, okay, can you please play this track? Okay, fair. Mm. Yeah. But Unless they are like, but even they are not wrong. They have to leave and they have to go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Exactly. 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 To so use their phones for playing the music. It's not that, it's that the yeah. look of disappointment when you have played the song but they've not heard it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've got this. My girlfriend's getting wasted. I need to leave. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, my girlfriend's drunk, man. Please, please. I was please. there when this happened. Get the question who is she leaving with? <laughs> <laughs> bro, she's getting drunk. She's not going to leave Why with anyone. Young, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Give me one song name, man. Jamal Kudu, I'll say. Jamal Kudu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. Chal. Buddha. I think, I think it's it's almost the same thing, right? Two things. One is they come and say a word of a song, like not the hook line. Yeah. Like you said, Cinderella. Yeah. Boss, what the fuck is Cinderella? <laughs> yeah. Which song is Cinderella in Bollywood? Fair. They forget the main thing. They only understand the hook one, right? And the second thing is sometimes they come and do a hook step. Of the song, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like I was like, what the fuck, dude? Why, why? Like, 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 like the yeah. Jamal could do one, right? They'll yeah. come and do the hook step. I said, no, boss. How will you understand from a hook step? Yeah. Are we not professional oh, dancers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
then we have uh, guest list guest list is oh god by the way the guys the guest list is ending on 7th of april put your names in right now give it to bharat or whoever is responsible my team please hi aparna <laughs> yeah so what's the association with the number 7 kya hai i love numbers and 7 is i was i i, I was born on 25th of september that's again 7 so yeah it's a lucky number of mine wow. yeah so wow. this happened to be and then that's uh, and even ux being launched on 16th april pure coincidence that's a lie it's <laughs> <laughs> a pure coincidence and then but then yes now when i look at numbers i always like get my number 7 and even mark's number is all 777 but then yeah but i, I love the number 7 so sick so can you tell me about the 14th anniversary what are people about to expect from that night we have seven dj's how does it work what's the timing like uh, when does it start and when does it end and when is it can you just give me a brief on what's to expect so yeah it's happening on the 20th of april uh, at zero gravity from 9 pm till 3 am we got these seven boys playing and it's <coughs> it's not your like your how normally anniversary events are very like uh literary and formals and no this is like by the beach can i come like this me shorts oh, yeah. me with all my fucking hair showing my like, <laughs> yeah. no damn sexy bro yeah. come on please i'll come like this one. uh so come by uh come in your beach wear not bikinis please uh, <laughs> but then yeah that's a the like, casual dress sports shoes allowed <laughs> like flip flops shorts let's come down it'll be, it'll be it'll be a nice evening an evening where we're going to have bollywood music and then the last one are we going to have uh sounds box a new concept Uh, and yeah, it'll be it'll be a, it'll be a good fusion of music from nine till three. So it'll be an amazing yeah. evening. Are you going to open for it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Can, can, can you please give him one of the killer tracks? Yeah, please, 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 please. Just pour your glass. <laughs> I, I, okay, one track this night. <laughs> Thank you. All the tracks I leave oh, it for the main. So <laughs> like a villainous. <laughs> Bharat is doing that for his image, guys. Sorry. <laughs> 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 You're gonna get a call tomorrow, na? Huh? I'll get, bro. I'll, 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 I'll accept it happily. Or <laughs> batao. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, so there are seven DJs here. Uh, five of them uh, have really cool names, and two of them are uh, just themselves. Yeah, but right now he's Manoj. Like Manoj. today he's come okay. with Manoj, Manoj figure. Yeah. Newton, Newton, Newton didn't come so, today. So, so if so if you guys got one more chance. to change your stage name what would it what be? would it be we can start where's the fucking uh, heart bro oh shit yeah yeah though he started he gave it to me bro jiske paas heart jiske paas dil hai shuru karo i i honestly wouldn't change but you have I to give an answer oh, to this have you to. have yeah. to oh actually i have a alter ego name which <laughs> an idea it's an i do oh, which oh. is my when i produce techno or whatever i'm playing a proper techno gig so i go by that name So I have two re- releases also on yeah, Beatport with that uh, wow with that name. I, I do. Amazing. I have yeah I have two tracks on Beatport which wow, was released wow. on. That is next yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. And what I was do. the name again? And I do A N I. So does it have a DJ in front of it? It's no no just an I do. Yeah. What does it mean like this? It's an I do. It's so I've just like changed it. Oh. N A I D U so A N. So Tushar is actually cool guys. His <laughs> stage name is himself, which is also very really cool. Yeah. Very nice. Who has the heart next? I'll give it to you. Bolia sir. क्या है आपका? क्या है आपका? DJ ना. Yeah. Not you can't no, use you Neutron. Can't Something uh, else. Can I say Neutron? No. You no, it's like. Then I think I'll just go with Manoj, bro. You can't. These are yes or nay. Something else. If you could change it once more. Bro, I don't think I'm in the space of thinking right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just stick to. I think I would any day go with Neutron because I actually spent a good number of time. Good amount of time coming up with that name. Fair. So yeah. What about WTF? Oh, do now we gonna start WTF? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. DJ WTF. <laughs> That's what I should have gone for WTF. Ah, so ah, chalo. WTF. You have no already. You can use that also. It's yep. You have the gift, bro. Amazing. Perfect. Yep. DJ, I don't take requests. <laughs> 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 okay. Perfect. KB. I'm sorted, bro. <laughs> no, you're not. He just got the name now. So if, okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So if if I go with like DJ Karan, there'll be like ten thousands lined out over there. Yeah, <laughs> so okay, that's why I chose KV Five because it's kind of you know it's unique. You can kind of find me very easily on you know mm. uh, streaming platforms or YouTube or whatever. Fair. So I think it's, it's a pretty cool name. Actually. It's unique. Yeah. Fair. 
DJ Bhojpuri. DJ Bhojpuri. DJ Bhojpuri. There you go. DJ Bhojpuri. No, no, no. Come on. I think I'll go with 911. Whoa. Wow. Somebody <laughs> called 911. <laughs> Is it for because of the number or because of the yeah, because yeah. request? I I love <laughs> I love Porsche so. That's what it's called. I love Porsche <laughs> so that's oh, Porsche 911. Nice. Fair. Nice. Buddha. I don't know man I should probably take my real name DJ Meher but it sounds too gujju nobody's going to call me for a gig man they're going to call me that is exactly they're going to call me DJ and the tagline will be kyunki kyunki saath bhi kabhi DJ thi exactly exactly DJ Nursery Rhymes bro come on DJ Cinderella for you oh is it is it me uh so I did actually have a name that I had thought of Okay. before i took up ace so i don't know if you guys have seen the movie welcome yeah yes. yeah so fardeen khan's dad his name in the movie was rdx yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was the short form like the first letters of his names right wow. so i was like okay how can i i like that idea like yeah. what can i do that like how can i incorporate wow. that in my name so i was like my full name is like raj dilip dhakan right so i was like r and 2d so i was like okay r 2d DJ R two D. I was like, okay, oh, that that R2D. sounds cool. I'm like, yeah, why not? But then Zubair was like, no, <laughs> you're not doing that. <laughs> Godfather be like, fuck no. One big reason. Give me one big reason. He's for the Ax team because I, I love his name is. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that yeah, counts, yeah. guys. Yeah. Come on, if you guys want to get into works, so uh, just get a yeah. fucking cool name, bro. He'll get you in. <laughs> with seven, seven letters, something to do with seven. Just impress him that way. <laughs> Beats, beats. Uh, DJ Majnu, bhai. Nah, nah. Why, why DJ Majnu, bhai? RDX Majnu, bhai. Bro, bro, you're the full cast. Are you welcome, nah, to, bro? Nah. I, I love my name. I wouldn't change it. Fair, but if you had to, you have to give one. Nah. Majnu, bhai, pay rakte hain. Fair. Nee, utna hi socha tha. Uske baad se DJ kya rahi hai? Okay, I have a question. Same. Wait, I want to know Bharat's DJ name. Ah, wait, 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 <laughs> you mean <laughs> I was on the console, let's say. <laughs> so yeah, so I did, I did. But then I thought, if I had to be a DJ, what name would it be? So I had a couple of options like B or uh, B. Reason, you said B. Yeah, for just just B. Uh, yeah, just B. I don't know. For, 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 for some reason, people call me B. So I'm like, why DJ B or maybe Brat or I don't know. Wow. Wow. And if like after your what the fuck, what would you keep it? I don't plan to be a DJ. I'm good. You're good. <laughs> say yes, say yes, say yes. Thank God. To be a DJ. So, so I have a question. This like it's intriguing to me. Okay, so you have how many nights in a week? Uh, we used to have two nights in a week before Ramadan. After Ramadan, we're still working on a couple of projects. I think in a week we'll find nights. But I think mostly yeah, a night or two in a week. Okay. So let's say you have an option of like seven DJs. This is your team, right? So, how do you select uh, the DJ for the exact night or the format? Like, let's say if you have a Arbani, you're you're taking one of them. How do you choose which DJ goes and plays at what location? Good question. Like, do I select or do you guys very, select? Very good question. Who's available? Yeah, good question. Exactly. Like, do I select do, or do you guys select? Tell me that. Yo, who who should I ask this question to again? <laughs> uh, so I think it was Manoj. The wrong person. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, so no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, no, the, the idea is obviously now everyone's got their own sound, so the idea is to mix it up. I want to give like an audience a different kind of uh, music, oh, yeah, yeah different styling every week. With Armani, we did, I mean, we did uh, Tushar on every week basis as well. So one night was only Tushar playing with different DJs, and other night was trying out different DJs. So we were, we were trying this out, and we want to see like what works and stuff, and we're still gonna keep trying. So you keep it mixing it up. There's no yeah, like yeah, a set yeah. thing. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. fair, fair, fair. Okay, so they're gonna play our second game. Wow. It's not it's a game. It's just like it's a. Question. It's a question. All right. So the game is called collab. Okay. So the game is called play, dance, and or higher and higher. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna ask each one of you, 
whom amongst these guys would you play with who would you enjoy playing with the most collaborating second is whom would you en- who sound would you enjoy dancing to the most and the third one is if you are hosting your own party whom would you hire to play for you wow. so basically it's a version yeah. of yeah. it's like uh, uh, kiss marry kill yeah. whatever yeah. but uh, made dj wise you're going to kill anybody over here yeah so yeah yeah kick hook up mario ha yeah, yeah. yeah whatever yeah. but this is uh, collaborate dance to and hire nice all right yeah. Yeah. so we'll start with uh, my eyes are only here to yeah. please mr buddha itna bright shirt pe nahi sakta bro main aankh hi nahi jhod rahi wahan se yaar like that is the theme yaar maybe it's like correctly on you bro exactly so play i would uh, uh, i've done i've played with i think majority all of them but i think tushar i love uh, playing with most there's That's some the, bromance going on here yeah, i know yeah, i can yeah. see it yeah, i can yeah, feel yeah, the vibes yeah, yeah i can um dance to i would uh, uh say kv because that's the genre which is coming up very nicely and i i enjoy that that, that kind of vibe right and um, collaborate i would say with uh, you i i i i i for bhojpuri Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Can he play Bojpuri. all the sick tracks? <laughs> all of them. Yeah, exactly. Huh? So he'll get a chance to play all the wow. main tracks. Right. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <bro>. Thank you. Ace, <laughs> yes, so, let's go. Buddha, Buddha, तेरे को अपनी पार्टी में आने का भाई. Play, play with. I think I've played with everybody. Not with, yeah, but like at at an event where we've played together, except him. So I will mm. go with him. Okay. So I think our anniversary is going to be our first event where we'll be playing together. Wow, so nice. play, I will go with him. What was the other one? Collab. Dance. 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 Who sound would you dance to? Like? Dance to. Uh, well, I've grown up l- dancing to his music, so yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you've been yeah. DJing yeah. for 22 yeah. Yeah. years, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I've grown up dancing to your wow. music. So yeah, I'll say Tushar. Who would you hire? Hire. For your own party. For my own party. I guess KV, yeah, yeah. because well, bro, bro. yeah, like <laughs> like he said, that's the that's the music which is happening right now, right? Yeah. So yeah. why not? Yeah. Wow, dude. and I'm yeah. enjoying it as well. So yeah. let's go. I'm also fucking enjoying it, by the way. <laughs> You're killing yeah. it, man. Appreciate killing it. Yeah, appreciate it. Sick, man. Beats. Beats. You remind me the acting. Yeah, I knew something was coming. Play, <laughs> dance. Lost, yeah. Okay. Hi. Will you? So Beats has zoned out. Play with. Come back. Play with Raj because I haven't played with him yet. Um. The second one was higher, right? No, no dance, dance, too. Yeah. dance, dance. too. Yeah, I don't dance. <laughs> But if I knew something was going to be beats, always yeah. some yeah. Kira loophole. There's some loophole with beats. Always. Always. Beats. It's not like I don't want to change my name. I don't want to change my name. Just basically groove. groove. Come on, groove. 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 I haven't heard Yogesh play properly, so I would uh, groove to him and uh, higher Manoj. Nice. Wow. Nice. I know that you guys are like super tight, right? This is like cross connection. Yeah, we're not even talking. 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 We're not even we're in the same space when it comes to the sounds that we're doing at the moment so it'd be interesting to basically play along with him nice and dance to <laughs> so that's a really, really difficult one uh yeah <laughs> i think uh, i don't know them bro <laughs> your hype is coming yoke, bro your music yoke, 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 baby yoke, yoke. Yeah. Yeah. okay yoke. definitely fair to basically understand ki कहा तक गाड़ी से ही वांट्स टू डांस वी विल डांस यू टू फकिंग जज यू ब्रो लुक एट दैट आफ्टर दैट आई विल मेक अ कॉल एंड डेफिनेटली हायर दिस गाय मनोज डेफिनेटली बिकॉज़ द वैरायटी ही इज गॉट इन एवरी जोन आई हैव सैट विद हिम एंड आई हैव एक्चुअली स्पोकन अबाउट म्यूजिक वी डिस्कस्ड म्यूजिक अ लॉट एंड इवन दो आई हैव बीन इन इंडस्ट्री फॉर सो लॉन्ग आई हैव लर्नड अ लॉट ऑफ new age hip hop r&b so any time i'm like if i have a gig when i'm <coughs> supposed to play hip hop and r&b the current hip hop r&b i it's one call and he'll actually give me a detailed uh, analysis of wow. what you're supposed to play at what time these wow. are the songs which will help you and it has helped me 
So definitely I'll hire him because he can cover all the genres and Fair. and I play techno house and everything with him. So wow. the best choice. Sick. Wow. I also yeah. want to like get one more show anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just taking in like information so now. <coughs> Ronak's wedding is coming soon. Yes. Yeah, so oh wow. It was going to be beats originally, but like now beats. Beats. Yeah. He, he charges too much, bro. Beats, beats, <laughs> beats has lost a gig. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, nice. Kiri. So, definitely, I think not only just me, but a lot of people in Dubai want to see us play together. You know, yeah. like, I think there's a lot of similarities in our styles. We complement each other really well. And I've heard his set, he's heard my set. Hopefully, that will happen one day. And uh, when that does happen, it's going to be a big one. Damn. So I'm pretty Can't sure. Wait for that. Yeah. And then dance, definitely I want to do it on this guy. Because I was there dancing at Indo Warehouse when he opened. Damn. And yeah. it was insane. I actually enjoyed it a lot. Thank you so much. So and remember when I met you also later, I'm like, bro, you just like smashed it. It was it was really, really good. And I hired I've hired him. So <laughs> <laughs> Oh you've already done that. Yeah, yeah oh, last no. weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, hiring each other, bro, for real. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're all there for each other. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So all my friends, all in that house party, were just so happy. They were like, you know, because they're used to the normal, which you know are there in the circuit. But when when he played that night, he was like, he took it another level. So people yeah. were there till five o'clock in the morning. on Niklo, like, get up. Ho gaya yaar. Tu band kar music. It was fun, man. So that's 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 my one. Yeah, More neutron. Nice. Oh, what's the first question? Who would I DJ? Play. Who yeah, would you play, play with? Who you enjoy playing with? Who would I play with? Oh, I would play with know. Beats because um, Beats is a guy I would discuss music with before dropping it, and I think he's one guy who uh, makes the effort to read the room, which is I think what every DJ should do, and not try to prove their point on the console. So I would like to DJ with a guy who is playing for the crowd and not himself, and I think wow. that's Beats. Damn. Yes, that's amazing. Yeah. <coughs> touched, I guess I'm like a real connection. If you've touched my heart, I know what you've touched of his. <laughs> 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 Uh, what's the uh, what's the second uh, what's dance. the second one? Dance, dance to. Dance to. Um, I think everyone's a phenomenal DJ, but recently I danced uh, my heart out, which is a very rare sight, wow. to Tushar's music, yeah. and uh, this was when he was playing techno because uh, when Tushar plays techno. Um, it's just a whole different vibe and he he made me miss my old uh, partying days where I used to party super hard and it was one of those mornings which I remember so thanks to you bro nice. damn yeah and collab with um, that's done with hire who would you hire oh boy I think uh, between I think Buddha Ace and Beats, I would probably just hire who's avail whoever is available on that. Wow, I like it. You know, he's wow. you know, like, no, asking one name, man. Yeah, I think, I think bet you, uh, between the three of them. Okay. Ek ek ghanta baja lo. Because this is honestly difficult for me to pick. I think they have a very, if if it's a private thing, you know, they're pe th these guys are DJs for the crowd. I would want someone who would, you know, come and play for the crowd. So I think they all fit in that category. So yeah, I would hire the three of them. Okay, uh, but for real, ek, ek naam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the fucking pestering and buttering. Yeah. Ek naam I right. like it because when he's using loopholes. Who will not charge me for that gig? So no one is charging you for the gig. No one is charging you for the gig. No one is charging you for the gig. I'll get Ace because of the fact that I know he's going to take the mic and go crazy with it. Wow. <laughs> nice. No. Sick. Come on, so I will play with, of course, Tushar, because uh, he's it's also it. my teacher, and he did not mention my name of his student list. Yeah. So oh, okay. <laughs> Excluded. It, it hurted my feeling. How many names did you get? Did he pay me? Such nahi bolna tha yahan pe. So no, because I feel I have a sync with Tushar because I do the warm up most of the time at Ux and he's the main DJ. So I know what to play, what not to play, and I know what kind of vibe to set that he can take over and expand that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so. if I have to dance, 
that would be DJ Buddha mm. and to hire Mr. Legend. Wow. Manu. Wow. Manu is like everybody's oh, hiring him, bro. bro. Yeah, but that's a level of respect, right? He's yeah. done yeah. it for so long, yeah. like up, jokes mm. apart, like. Yeah. And also his taste. Like, yeah. Yeah. So to each their own, right? Like yeah. to me, like maybe a. a Whatever the the your sound KV yeah. the KV sound is like the one that I'm into right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like yeah. also that will change as per the it's time. Evolving, yeah. yeah, because okay. I have done two gigs with him, and when he takes over, the entire vibe, the crowd, everybody, every everything goes like on a next level. Like he takes everything very fast on a like on a next step. Nice. Like, that's <coughs> wow, that's next level. You can't ask Bharat because he already hired all of them. So, do I get one more cap? <laughs> 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 Bro, okay, one more time I'm wearing it. All right, so, uh, so there's, so on your anniversary <laughs> night, how is it that you're managing to <laughs> play seven DJs and how many hours is it? It's a six hours event, so we're looking. I mean, we are, we still have to decide how they're going. So okay. I think this week we'll be sitting on it and working on it. Okay. So That's a surprise for everyone. Yeah, almost surprise for, for the, sure for the crowd. No, but then no, but then the idea is we will make sure that every every artist gets to play uh, at least a part of it in the main set as well. So to feel the crowd. So yeah, I mean we'll be working on it. We'll be working on it. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So I have a few <coughs> questions regarding the event. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, how do you get to making it like to zero gravity? Like, do you like what goes behind the scenes? Mm -hmm. Of creating an event that is so big, mm -hmm. which is like your anniversary, so it's like your highlight main event, right? Of yeah. the year, give or take. Yeah. So, what goes into the planning, and how does it happen? So, uh, Ark's anniversary has always been a milestone event, a very big event, and every year we've been every year we've been doing it at a very premium club. Um, I remember we did at Armani before, then we did at least three years at White, then Bass, Float. So we would look at big venues, massive venues where we would target at least 2,000 people. And uh, it's been, I think, a, a couple of years where we haven't been doing the anniversary celebration. So zero gravity, a capacity of 3,000 people. Damn. And that of getting a zero gravity on a weekend yeah, for yeah. a Bollywood night was, was a challenge. Because other clubs we would do on a weekday. Yeah. And on a weekday we would pull in 2,000 people. Okay. So now imagine on a weekend, on a Saturday <laughs> night, zero gravity by the beach open air, yeah. beautiful weather, yeah. these seven guys, what's gonna happen? So we're looking at at least uh, 3,000 people and we've been, we've been blessed that we, we, we were able to get the venue and, and I've been blessed as well that I've got these boys' dates available. <laughs> yeah. They're very busy people, yeah, yeah. they're very busy boys and they've, yeah, and I think it was meant to be, it's meant to be. Fair, nice. I know for a fact that Manoj has <coughs> changed his date to be a part of the, because an anniversary event of Ux is not possible without me. without the founder of Ux. Damn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like in like a ghante me itni respect hoge ek bande ke liye like fuck me bro like. No no. If so I have to if I have to if I have to oh. speak about and I would have to you know share my kind of my 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 gratefulness to you guys. So Manoj is one guy. I mean uh, he's one of the most unconditional DJ. See DJs have competition. It's very normal. It's very natural. But then I don't know he mitti ka bana hai. Mm -hmm. He has, for him, that no one's competition. For him, it's himself, it's me, I'm the competition, and that's it. I need to get better better than myself. <coughs> and like you said, no, like gig beats, and and after him, mm -hmm. who has come into the UX team? It's beats, and then we had even Nitesh, and then we had Gotham, and then we had Buddha, then we had Ace, then we had Yog, uh, as, as proper, uh, he's made sure that everyone's taken care of, musically, gigs. He just passes it on, like, and there's no. I mean, he's 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 a legend. So he's like the leader of the locker room, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he is captain. Captain, the captain. Captain Manoj. Captain. Yeah, he's won the prize also, bro. He's the highest player. Just thinking about more caps. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All the <laughs> Blue, <laughs> way, you can exchange it with. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, fair. Okay, so so like you've done multiple events where you have multiple DJs coming in, right? So how do you make sure that the sound or the music does not repeat? Because there's there's only a limited pool of songs, but and you have so many people. How do you make sure that each of them gets 
the main tracks or the tracks do not repeat how does that happen how do you work that out somehow or it's a, just they up to them they work it out with them themselves or how is it like that how does it work I think you can add something here, right? Because yeah, we're just yeah. discussing it and zero gravity. Captain, and Captain, and Captain, please. Aye, aye. Do it. The renditions and keeping it fresh. <clears throat> uh, I think see um, where I would really, really give a lot of credit to Bharat is that um, he always makes sure that uh, music is being played on a wider spectrum. By which I mean, he'll call, he'll discuss. Not everybody and not uh, many promoters would actually give a flying fuck. Ki jo bajra hai, bajne do. एक रात पे गाना दस बार बजा बजा यू नो इट इट रियली वुड एंड मैटर टू देम बट इट रियली मैटर्स टू हिम बिकॉज ही बिलीव्स अक्स का फाउंडेशन बिसाइड्स द क्राउड दैट वी गॉड इन वाज फंडामेंटली द म्यूजिक एंड दैट एंड नाउ हैज नेवर चेंज्ड इन फोर्टीन इयर्स सो आई थिंक ही इज़ वेरी श्योर ऑफ वेर ही वॉन्ट्स हिज नाइट टू गो एंड इफ यू हैव दैट कैन अ क्लैरिटी आई थिंक यूर इट्स अ विन विन सिचुएशन सो या इवन नाउ विथ the sounds of ux people would be like you know ki what exactly is being played on a night but he has that vision ki one has to see through him one has to know him ki he is doing this to change the course of you know that it cannot be the typical stereotype jo har club mein play ho raha hai it's got to be something different so that's why this concept is there because he he's thinking two steps ahead and i think that's required in today's time not just as a dj but as a promoter take a lead ki aage kaise badhe how do you step out of this and move into that direction so one has to understand ki not question ki kyun kya ho raha hai you know it's very important to move forward and he has that sense he's always thought two steps ahead wow also to yeah. answer his question right i mean to your question what he was saying earlier i remember him saying something very clearly in our last team meeting you know when you said about repeating songs yes you could hear the same song in 10 different ways and you wouldn't realize it yeah. yeah so that's what he was talking about like let's all of us choose and our music plan our music together so we we are playing because you, as you said there is a limited pool of songs I and mean, we can't go ancient also so and not one it's it's you know un, you you can't have one dj play all all the bad stuff and all the other dj playing all the good stuff the dj wants to play good stuff all throughout so maybe you can have the same song but in different renditions of how you want right. so that's the way uh, we're thinking of this ahead nice because that's important right like if i come in as a consumer like as a person in the crowd which and if i'm hearing like songs which are like yeah that's I'm obvious bro come I'm on ye kya bol rahe ho yeah but like that's what i'm saying like if i come and if i hear the same song again and again because it's it's like a 7 6 to 7 hours mm. so there is room for songs to repeat again and again so hence like Yeah, ask the question. Nothing you can do about that. Yeah. If you see too many glasses on the head, then you take. Then you just take a brass entry. Well, sab ke every hour you will see glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. So, uh, it's to all the DJs. What's the one song that you fucking hate playing, but you gotta do it for the crowd? We'll try it to shout. Can't say hate. We don't. I mean, like okay, you don't like you. Don't you're just playing it for the there crowd, are, no? There are so many uh, songs like that. Like, I personally wouldn't uh, like to play Sadi Gali anymore. <laughs> ah. Honestly, okay. but uh, you can't avoid. There are songs you cannot avoid, no matter what. You have to play. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, play you gotta play that. You have to. For it's for the crowd, right? Yeah. yeah. Wait, Sadi Gali, the R D B song. The R D B one. Oh my God! Oh, no, Drama is sitting here. I don't know. 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 I don't know for you i'm not naming an rdb song for sure <laughs> <laughs> but i think for me you know what um i get a lot of requests for this especially if i'm playing at somebody's house or whatever just as a friendly thing uh man mari jaan i think uh, ho gaya uska king? yeah yeah okay. ho gaya uska bhi okay. <laughs> 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 i think it'll be u antaba for me 
I hate मान मेरी जान I you also hate मान मेरी जान I absolutely I am from Delhi and I go do, go do go to Delhi very often so I don't want to get killed <laughs> so I love my life clip clip that please मानो तो यार I I hate मान मेरी जान okay fair good I think I'll agree to Manoj for me also is Antawa okay because that is something I I, I don't like that song personally okay but, but it's a crowd favorite so we'll have to put it in fair Now he's gonna say ah, who he just said. No, I'll say what okay. he's he said. I say mean, I won't hear but what, what you have to say, my friend. I won't hear what you have to. Which one do you don't? No, no. But yeah. yeah, I mean, like there are a couple of tracks, like he says, wedding tracks, yeah. like which have been used and abused now, and like I think it's time that we stop playing them. So yeah, there are so many of them, like. You take like he was talking about galla gudiya as well. Like that's. Yeah. Yeah. Mere paas aaya. That's. Sab ko baat. Like he said, Arma, man, me nahi. Yeah, I was like, kisne bola tha? Wo gaane ke baare mein wo soch raha hu. Well, actually, our whole playlist is like that. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. our whole playlist is like even now, but like I say that track, I've still played it. Because we still get requests for it. Yeah, obviously you got like, to the crowd. But that's right? the whole exactly. Point. That's the, and that's again, the point like like he said, like yeah, we have to play for the crowd. Like if there is somebody who's coming and like you know spending X amount of money and he wants to listen to that track, yeah, yes, of course, like we have to then play it. Because there is. Don't beat around the fucking bush. Then I just said the point. Galla gudiya, right? Galla gudiya, fair. Galla gudiya, fair. Beats has some um, challenger song. I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaddi Red Challenger. No, no. Uh, charger. What is the challenger song? Gaddi Red. Red Gaddi Challenger. I still hate that track, and thankfully it's wiped out. Wow. Like, I'm just happy it's wiped out out of all our sets. When are you wow. playing for a Canadian? Band? Not any time soon. What Canadian? Brampton. 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 And uh, Bharat, who, who? Even Bevafa for that matter. Oh, oh no, I don't think we play. I've, I've been to a night where that's they've like the, ended with Bevo Farm. Yes. No, but I don't that's think. And I, we have not ended with Bevo. Yeah, Bevo no, 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 I'm not. talking about somewhere else. Oh, yeah, like I've just been yeah. for a night yeah. and like uh, Bevo Farm is playing at the end. We're all rocking at home, bro. Yeah. You, like, you should be fucking happy, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, guys, please just play some at the end. <laughs> of course. Uh, but yes. you must be getting a lot of requests from the people on your table as well. Ja ke be bata de in logo ko ye gaana sunna hai. AP gaana AP AP yeah. AP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, AP. I, but but the wedding tracks, yeah. if if given a chance, but you can't blame them because there's so much music produced or made in Bollywood. So yeah, we are stuck with that track. But then if I had to remove, you come to a club, right? So clubbing tracks like high energy club tracks, no. wedding tracks i would remove all the wedding tracks and and and, and they all know that but we also yeah. face a lot of tricky questions like why not it's a desi night right so you have so much variety in desi so how can you refuse to play that desi song it's a boy yeah. i've come for a bollywood night i would want to listen to a bolly i'm i'm not asking you to play house techno i'm asking you to play bollywood night so why can't you play this song wow wow and what do you answer to that Okay, be five minutes. I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> give him, give him the headphone. Well, you can play it. And then at three o'clock, and three o'clock, when the person is like, "Oh my shit, man! I forgot. Next time, next time, for sure." Bro, you're giving away the trade secrets. Come on, come on, come on. I would say, but I still have to use that. I don't intend to give it out now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Some of the things should be just remaining huh. secrets, right? Like, that's the trick of the trade. Or I guess so. so this. Huh? The camera has pointed still. Ah, just not right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a game, another game. Uh, we have two games left. Okay, we're gonna play most likely. Okay. Gift take is kele. Huh? Is kele? No, holding the gift. Gift take on ote abhi. Huh? Okay, fine. Hamper chahiye. Hamper. Bro, you missed out on the cap, man. <laughs> okay, fine. So who is amongst you guys? You gotta all point at someone when I say it's who's. It's most likely. Yeah, it's most likely. Oh. Okay. okay. So we got to do this quick. Okay. So who is most likely to get lucky on a gig night? <laughs> wow, to charge the fucking player. <laughs> Hello, where's your hand pointing? Sorry, me too. Well. Obviously, <laughs> man. Come on. Yeah. I would I would I'll do that actually. I do that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so who's got the most I think it's Tushar. 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 Yeah. I, I'm glad no married man got that point. No, I'm not going to get any problem. No 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 
Everybody replies to me on time. Three, two, no, one, no. all point at whoever. No, 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 मनोज Yo, 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 yo gets it. Yo, 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 the, yo, you say the Delhi boy, the big spender. He's the one. Delhi is the one. Okay, this is the last one. Uh, who's most likely to retire from DJing first, amongst Ooh. you guys, in your mind? You got a point. Marat. <laughs> <laughs> Brad died. Twenty-four. <laughs> 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 wow. All right. So uh, we have one last game, and it's a musical game. I'm gonna play one track. I'm gonna play five tracks each for ten seconds, and you, whoever raises their hand first, has to. Uh, tell I'll what answer song it together. It also, oh, it's wow. fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And you gotta sing the hook. Okay. So that's the game. I'm not short of track. You know. I assume that you'll be saying this. No wedding tracks, huh? <laughs> 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 If I had known this before, I wouldn't have put. But तो मतलब है उसमें. हो सकता है नहीं भी हो सकता. Sadi Gali. Obviously Sadi Gali बनने वाला है. So the first song, Rohit, you have to see who raises hand and all that, yeah. Bharat. <laughs> Raise your hand if you know it. Me, me, me. That gave it away, bro. Come on. I mean, you guys are not fucking raising your hand. That was like bird joke. All right, guys. Who is why you raising your hand? Because I also want to say the answer. Man, I'm not sure. I get that. You gotta sing the hook, man. No, we took so much time because we never played this song. First, that's why it was given to you guys. Radio पर मिलता है ये सब song. अरे नहीं बजाता है मैं. ओके दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन But you have to. Whoever answers this has to sing the hook. Sorry about that. Yeah. Even if it's beats. 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 Even if it
And you are a trained singer, right? You are a trained singer. You remember you told us you used to sing. Come on. Sing. Who was the song? Because holding the prize. That's the reason why everybody pointed at him who's going to score at the night. That's his make out song. Bro, can you please sing the line? मुझे क्या देख रहे हो भाई? इसी से वाइब वाइब भी है और वाली वाइब किससे आ रही है? One, two, three. बस इसको काट देना यार रो प्लीज. देख लेंगे, देख लेंगे. नहीं 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 हाँ बोलो तुम लोग पहले. देख लेंगे. देख लेंगे. Come on, come on, come on. सवाल जैसे इन भीगे होंठ तेरे. प्यास प्यास आ गई मेरा. बस. लगे something. वो तो नहीं आता ना लगे उसके बाद ओके बट सिंगे लगे के बाद कुछ होता ही सुर में गाओ सुर में वो भी होता है मैं सुर में गाता तो मैं डीजे क्यों करता ओके कम ऑन शेड ओके भी गए हो नो दैट वाज गुड दैट वाज गुड ब्रो यू हैव टू डू सेकंड लाइन आल्सो राइट क्या साधे मेरा वील ऑटो ट्यूनिट लेना ब्रो KV is gonna produce something on that bro. Lage ab re sa. Mujhe tan tera. Thank you so much dude. Okay the last song guys. And this one I dedicate to one of you. Now this you have to sing. This this I have to sing. Beats you have to sing. I think Beats raised his hand first. Beats. Beats. किसको गाना नहीं है Hey guys, we're uh, done with the game, <coughs> all right. But uh, this is the last segment of uh, the whole session. I want to know each of yours, all right, all of yours, <coughs> one by one. Your what the fuck is happening moment, all right. Where, uh, let's say, when you decided to become a DJ. During it or after <coughs> it or <coughs> just when you were going to become a DJ, something that changed you that made you want to become it. Start. A short like. It can be short. It can be a good story. It can be a good story, happy story, uh, whatever. It should be. What made me get into DJing? No. Yeah, like you had a what the fuck. Like let's say if I'm performing in front of untold, me, कितने सारे लोग थे, and I was like, fuck yeah, I'm that's, here, man. Like, that would be on. a what the fuck moment. That's <laughs> a what the fuck moment for me because that's a realization that. Bro, I have that many people dancing to my tunes. Mm. Yeah. Like I just probably explained your what the fuck, but <laughs> 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 but like something like that. I I probably know. Uh, I think the interesting part is that I never used to go to clubs in India. I've never done clubbing in India. So after I landed in Dubai, I think I came in 2005. The first club gig that I attended was um, at the Mix in Hyatt, and uh, I think there was. Uh, Uh, this DJ is very le- le- legendary DJ as well. DJ Chico, he was playing there. I think everybody would know him. Yeah. He was playing there, and he was this cool guy. I was standing with with his uh, uh, camo tracks and you know all all the uh, jackets and stuff. And he was doing something. I was very intrigued by that thing. That's that's something really mm-hmm. cool. So that was like what the fuck moment. I want to do that. I want to learn what is it. Fair. So that was the yeah. first experience. Yeah. Sick wow. man. Two thousand six, seven, I guess. Seven, eight. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, Moksh. has to be a seven because. Not going eight. Is. Uh, I don't know. For me, I think my what the fuck moment was. I mean, obviously, like, like maybe like a <coughs> couple of us. I started attending Ax nights first before I became a part of the Ax team, right? So obviously, when I used to go and attend the nights, I would be like. I I was a DJ back then, but I was not like playing for clubs. I was doing mainly like private parties and stuff, right? So I was like, okay, our club me bajana hai. Like I want to play. Like you know, they've got such a good crowd. Music is good. The place is banging. Like I I want to play for like you know for Bharat for Ux, and then uh, yeah. So that's I think 2022 December. Wow. Papa Dubai. 
was my first night at Ux, uh, and yeah, you lived your what dream? the fuck moment. You what yeah. the fuck moment? Yeah. Fuck, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Can you clap? I can't hold. Yeah. It. <laughs> Beats. Okay, so this is a story. I don't think even Bharat knows about it. So wow, I, exclusive content. <laughs> Woo! So when I start Ux, the first two nights I played, uh, I played horribly. And uh, Manoj was there one of the nights. I don't remember who was there other nights. And they told me to very politely walk off. And uh, you're sure you don't remember? Yeah, yeah, I don't remember who. You don't forget. But anything. I remember you telling me to walk off. And then at the end of the night, I went to him and I said, uh, "What happened?" He's like, "You know, this is really bad. This is not the way we do it." Blah blah blah. And he gave me a full insight to how we do the music in Ux. And the third night, I came in. And he was the first one who told me you smashed it. And for me, it's a learning curve from there. So mm. I'm always thankful of him and Bharat because I'm always learning, and that's what it's taught me. You know, always keep open to be learning new things. You know, you yeah. might not know everything. So yeah, true. Damn. Wow. Another clap. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mine. I honestly, I'm not, I'm not even joking. Mine. I think. It still has to come, my what the fuck one, because this direction that I'm trying to go to uh, in techno and everything. So I have my uh, goal, what I want to do. But as of now, my what the fuck moment was when I came to Dubai. After all the struggle of that, saying no to DJing and everything, fought with him, whatever. Long story cut short, came to Dubai. I was assisting Zubair, and uh, Zubair had to travel for a visa change, and his visa didn't come up. And that was the opening night of Ramadan, like after Ramadan, it was a big night, huge night. And I had to do the set all by myself. That was the first time I was playing for the Dubai crowd all by myself, live on City 1016 back then. And when I'm DJing, I suddenly see Jay Sean, Jaggi D, Rishi Rich, Ali Sagu walking in. It was a massive big deal. That partying. Yeah, big deal. Yeah, back those days, they were big. Yeah, yeah. they were partying, drinking, and out of nowhere, all of them have come inside the console and standing behind me and they're dancing. Whoa. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Bali Sago has his hand in my shoulder. Rishi Rich wow. is doing his thing on the mixer. And mixer. Jaggi DJ Sean have taken the mic from me and they've gone on stage and then they sing wow. and I have like about 400 people in front of me and I was like, what the fuck just wow, happened? Wow, bro, that's, wow, that's wow. crazy. So, you know, yeah. and honestly, wow. that night I couldn't sleep because I couldn't share that to anyone. Zubair wasn't there. I didn't know that many people. I have no Quite family over here. Yeah. Wow. So I've gone home and I'm waiting that it's morning and I'll call my parents and I'll be like, you know what? This is what happened. Wow. Yeah. So fuck. as of now, that is like one of the biggest uh, what the fuck moment for me. Wow. Yeah. Damn, dude. That's yeah. fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Sick. That's amazing. Um, for me, it was two of them. I can mention two, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You can mention. So them. the first one was definitely the untold one, hands down. Multinational, <coughs> multicultural experience. You know, you're playing for different crowds, and they're all there. They're listening to it. The best compliment you can get. But I think the next step, which was the Bastion gig, that just blew me away. That the happened one recently, right? That happened recently, right after, literally Actually. the next day after untold. Whoa! Yeah. Sick. That's so. And uh, so when I, when I was hired to play there, I, I'm like literally one of the few DJs Bastions hired to play there. Like lock, top Indian names haven't played there, wow. Wow. you know. So they're all international DJs that are coming down there. And they're very selective about the kind of music that they want to use Sick. at that because wow. they don't play regular Bollywood stuff. Yeah, I went, yeah. I went to yeah. Bastion recently, like maybe three months ago. <coughs> it's a proper vibe. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so after 2 a.m., things change. But up till 2 a.m., <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had control. Yeah. So up to that point, I mean, just like he said, he had that celeb exposure, that experience. Um, we had Janvi Kapoor, Kriti Sanan, Ori, Shahid Kapoor that night. Damn. They were all like next to, like, not forget my console. It's like I had a table right behind the console. And this was the next table after that. So they were like literally attached and they were mingling with us. And, you know, they had let their hair down so because nobody's taking pictures, nothing like that, because that's like a very safe kind of space. Yeah. Nobody's really into it. They're all like well to do and they're all having fun. And then they're in the console area with me, you know, with four, two, three other DJs. I mean, wow. we're back to back and then they're just jamming behind us. 
Sick. What else wow. can you ask for, right? Wow. In life. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. So yeah, that was my what the fuck moment wow. as well. Damn, nice, lovely. Um, I have two. Um, I'll tell the Ux one, which I had first was this was our very first Ux at White, which happened. I remember I was closing the night. Um, honestly, despite the number of uh, years I'd been around, I was still a bit nervous. But when I went on the console. and to play from that view where i think pretty much any dj in the world at that point was aspiring to play at white to having ux giving that platform and to play for that crowd i think i will probably never forget that uh, closing set or that moment in my life and i was like what the fuck i can't believe i'm actually playing at white and for an ux event Why? so yes Absolutely. that was like and from uh, from a djing perspective um uh, <laughs> This is a pre Shazam era where I actually called up Tushar as a small little kid and I told him bro I want to book you for an event this is when I was I think 18 or 19 or 17 wow. probably I called him and I told him bro I need to book you for an event how much you charge blah 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 obviously he didn't know me cuz you know I was just getting started and the last thing after 10 minutes I tell him bro what was that one track you played <laughs> in the club and he tells me bro it was did you tell me the name I think he did So basically I, he used to play at uh, he used to play at touch touch so I when I went to touch in the midst of all that bollywood and everything he dropped this one track called lanzarot okay. which we still laugh about till date and the minute I heard that that was like what the fucking fuck did I just hear <laughs> because because I was like oh my god I, and I don't think I'll ever forget that there's a lot of white wash I've had in those years until now wow. but that is one moment I would never never forget in my life and that day until like the next 4 or 5 years I would just go and listen to Tushar and I think uh thank you for all the credit everyone gives me but my credit goes to him because I all I used to do was just go and listen to him I never went to him I never interacted with him but I was a very avid listener of what Tushar used to play because at that time he used to play these you know different sounds so thank you bro wow that was my what the fuck moment I've been listening thank you thank you guys this thing beats are getting a little jealous because we had this bro moment what is this going on that <laughs> actually Tushar knows that because I've told this uh like a zillion times until date we talk about it You know we're two old people, so we have a lot of things to throw back on. This is one thing he always tells me. So wow. It's like, why didn't you ever come and talk to me? I was like, bro, because that was not my intention. My thing was to learn music, to listen to what's actually happening. There would be cowboy. There would be this. There was a cowboy who yeah, would yeah, also yeah. pick tracks from Tushar, but never gave credit to Tushar. Whoa. So yeah. Whoa. Yep. Controversy, bro. Oh. <laughs> in the but mix at the a, end. Well, it's facts at the end of the day. You know, one like thing is. Uh, you got to be open to criticism you got to be open to facts and that's the whole idea of being in nightlife so yeah wow yeah. dude you should be a sports person for <laughs> no he's actually taught me this oh, so yeah lagama days yeah fair yo for me actually two first one was playing at armani i was like wow did wow. i get yeah. that yeah. like yeah. because for me from 2017 till date club night means accept our money to be very honest Fair. not just Fair. saying because bharat is here but honestly i only only attended two nights either where buddha bhai is playing or where ux mainly mainly and money and the biggest actual what the fuck moment yeah. i was in my office i get a call from buddha is like paji what are you doing i like paji going to have lunch he like please sit down <coughs> wherever you standing i like what up like please sit down i sat down he like you playing for ux night new year's event at helipad whoa <laughs> like what because honestly because i did couple of gigs i did with everyone because there's no great feedback for me to feel that i am doing a decent job at djing but that call was like and i like please don't joke around paji like, yeah. because wow. i was new and i was i was in no zone to believe that i'm <coughs> getting a new year's gig wow. in my initial like start like abhi abhi to shuru kiya how will yeah. i get a new year's gig and that just was like wow yes. wow dude that's awesome Amazing. that's yeah. fucking nice. sick man yeah. Yeah. that is that that one night new year's eve ux was i think one of the best i have done in my career till date <coughs> wow that's crazy absolutely hands down the best new year's night i've done hands down nice. ux night that's amazing, amazing. 
and uh, last but not the least oh what the fuck moment i think i've been having a lot and i think you should keep having a lot because that yeah. that's a good pr- yeah. a progress side yeah. yeah yeah but then the latest one was the untold i was i don't know i, I think i was high, i was high on something else i don't know what i was high on but dude you were you your your eyes like you were you were tearing up so badly like yeah. you could see <coughs> it and only it is very difficult to tear up yeah he was literally he, he, he was crying he was crying i yeah. was crying wow. so but it's it, it's more of the uh, the crying it's more of that proud moment seeing that like ax was on that stage yeah. was on at untold uh. that it was a lot of mixed emotions i would say right it was happy it was proud and and a lot of things were all together and and right after we got down from the stage we got such a good feedback on the music part and everybody was there to cheer us to support us i think that was actually what the fuck yeah, it was a proper yeah. mic drop moment you mic, know because absolutely. people didn't want us to yeah. leave they're like where are you guys yeah. going yeah <laughs> you yeah. were like yeah. sorry like, guys like, that's people the have, end. like people have come for yeah. tiesto uh, people have come for hardwell and then there were people who were there before we even started like i got a message like dude where are you i'm like coming we we going to be in next half an hour i'm already here i'm like people were there for ax at untold and that was a beautiful moment before that i had a what the fuck moment at helipad uh the second one yeah. it was a mad one that was crazy yeah, i was, was there crazy, yeah. that was wow again, again new year's eve i had a beautiful new year's eve with these boys yeah. like one of my best yeah. new year's eve i would say and then uh, train beach club yes. with tushar i remember uh that was a beautiful event we the produced three, uh, nights, three nights we did over there it was it was beautiful so yeah so it just i think we have a lots of for what the fuck did you have a what the fuck at your holy event yes yes <laughs> <laughs> like i got to remind him iska kya what the fuck tha come on give me give me some deets uh it was a lovely event it was a beautiful event um to be honest uh but i guess we we were expecting a lot more crowd for that event uh so but then we didn't get that crowd so that we had like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> that was another what the fuck moment <laughs> <laughs> the other way right like what the fuck happened <laughs> tiger was too early to do the holy because obviously in ramadan you can't do a holy event so we had to do uh and but overall the venue i mean uh it's it's managed by a western all, all, all the western expats and they were not entertaining us earlier much and when they saw the response when they saw the feedback of the event they were blown and they're like they called me for a meeting next week and they're like are we doing this next year we should do this next year wow. so the venue the vendors uh people who people who whoever came in had a blast had a blast yeah. Yeah. and i mean an axkal carnival is still my personal favorite event and and that event is going to go bigger and bigger and uh but i think with all my boys over here we will make it the tomorrow land of ua wow we wow we will make Sick. it that's I mean you guys are clap yeah so <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh any last words you guys want to uh, sign off with for the anniversary i want to congratulate you by the way haven't done that yet thank you thank 14 you. years is a long time it's a uh, half my age <laughs> that's a long time right uh but yeah like congratulations okay. you're going to kill it and all of you i think are obviously going to kill it like you guys are so yeah. supportive to each other which is uh i always thought honestly generally like dj's like when beats came in for the podcast i asked him do you have something like a competition vibe with the dj's and he explained to me at that time that everyone in the industry like you guys are they look out for each other which i literally got to see right here today like you guys are you guys love each other's music and that's what yeah. connects you i guess yeah. uh and it's fucking awesome to see i mean it's a very collaborative space yeah. you know, it it wasn't like this before yeah and now you need to work with each other you have to work with each other to better each other yeah. that's that's Fair. how and it i goes. think besides all of that besides everyone being good dj's great dj's and so on i think everyone's everyone everyone's a really great uh individual over here because i know pretty much everyone here on a personal level and i think everyone has amazing amazing personalities and traits in them which is probably 
like uh, we were saying earlier karma when you guys yeah. were messing about my hand is that is that uh, you know everyone's here because there's a common ground that we all share as individuals is what makes us good DJs so it's a very reciprocative thing i feel it's a fucking awesome thing to just yeah. view it from the outside that's yeah. i always thought like there would be like competition and all like Beats have changed. You've changed my life. There, there is, there there is, is healthy. Healthy. Yeah, there exactly. Is healthy. Like healthy. whatever you, you said, I'm like literally better. in it yeah. right now. I'm seeing. Fu- I'm no, fucking no, seeing. But, okay, but if you have a captain like him, I don't think there's a competition in the yeah. team. <laughs> yeah. Well, if he's the captain, what do you call yourself? Coach, owner, spectator. Wow. <laughs> well spectator. Said. He's actually a spectator. He's actually a spectator. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. <You're okay. laughs> you guys want to sign out with any words for the event that's happening on 28th April? Uh, guest list shot on seventh. I can't forget that seven number right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any last words? People are getting confused. It's not twenty eighth. Huh? It's twentieth. Two zero th on the top, right? Two zero twentieth April. Um, last words. What? Like, let's 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 have some fun, guys. Yeah. 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 And let's, uh, let's show that fourteen years. We've done fourteen years for a reason. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. makes us the <laughs> longest running night, not only in UAE. I believe. I've done a bit of homework around, and I think maybe, maybe if I'm not wrong, maybe in the world as well. Yeah. The longest running night in the world. That's amazing. Damn. Yeah, I have clapped. No, you can. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's smash it, guys. Let's smash it. <laughs>